baby bird chicken heads a beautiful Tanya your little feet were so thin old Anna's a sugar packet banana wave <laughs> Yeah, you guys don't even want to know. <laughs> oh, God. I had to watch that, though, because I'm subscribed to these guys. <laughs> um, but, yo, what is up, Andre? And what is up, Relax? <clears throat> How are you all going today? Welcome to the first 2018 YouTube stream. I don't know how often I'm actually going to be streaming on YouTube um, when it comes to, you know, just YouTube streaming in general. Um... I'm thinking I, I want to do it often, but I tend to have it so I like to stream uh, on YouTube, like, I wouldn't say special occasions, but just occasions that, you know, normally aren't streamed on Twitch, you know, so, uh, I don't know, we'll see how we go for the year, but, um, like now, you know, it's the Supersonic DLC, I haven't even played this, but, uh, I feel the need to, to stream it up on YouTube, so at least it's, you know, archived on, you know, YouTube rather Twitch, because... I'm still discovering things on Twitch that to this day I probably should know, so yeah, I kind of feel bad in that respect, so uh, oh well. At least, you know, I don't have to go back and then highlight the stream, at least with YouTube it just does it for you. I don't know. Anywho, I did actually get this uh, DLC a while ago. Um, I got it when I was setting up uh, I think the Gran Turismo DLC for, yeah, Gran Turismo Sport, because I got that for Christmas, so that's cool. Um, I also, if you guys didn't know, I finally bet, uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy's, uh, DLC, Stormy Ascent, and holy shit, that was an, an, an interesting experience, because it really was, it took me, like, four months to complete, it really did, because I spent a lot of time and work on that. And I wanted to get it done by the end of uh, 2017, but obviously that didn't happen. But hey, at least I got it out of the way right at the very start of this year, you know. So uh, all that's left now is uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. That's TFU. <laughs> okay. And then I'll, uh, I'll move on to SA2 as people have wanted me to do for a while now. I know, I hear you guys, I will do it eventually. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're past the halfway point with Star Wars, so, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll complete that. And, uh, yeah, we'll definitely move on to SA2. I can't say I'm hyped for SA2, but, you know, I'm kind of on the fence, because I've heard good and bad things about the game, so... Huh. You can now play as Supersonic. Huzzah! You can now use Sanic T-shirts. I thought I was just going to say that, but that's actually how it's spelt. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, yay. Let's uh, apparently take a look. Where is it? Back to title? No. Oh, it's been too long. Uh, L1, it's R1, okay. Here we go. Is the uh, game audio loud enough? I just realized the banner's wrong to change that. There we go. I said it was a fun game. Yeah, I know. I I've heard that, but there's also been other people that have been, you know, like, oh, it's shit, you know, it's worse than 06. So I'm kind of on the fence. I, yeah, I've heard more praise to how good it is, but at the same time, yeah, I've heard bad things as well, so it's kind of hard to, yeah. Wow. Whoever made Sonic must be honored that it's actually in a Sonic game. Like, you'd think Sonic.exe would be in this game, wouldn't you? But, um, 
No, they're gonna use the more modern swag kind of MLG thing, I don't know. Everything kids are listening and looking at these days. Uh, I've never had anyone call it bad. Really? Just a shred of luck of coincidence in my Twitch streams. Because yeah, I remember I was it was mainly in Twitch streams when I was like, oh yeah, I might stream SA2, and people were like, no, 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 don't stream, it's bad, it sucks, it's worse than SA1. <laughs> So, uh, I, I still will, you know, stream it off, but, um, I don't think I'll stream it on YouTube because I streamed my first playthrough of SA1 on Twitch, so kind of want to keep that tradition. <laughs> so I know if I keep it on YouTube, a lot of people are going to be laughing at how bad I played the game, because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was the same with SA1, I was, like, stuffing up on the most obvious, you know, obstacles. You know, I'm at that age where I'm not like a child anymore and I can't go, oh, who cares about all the challenges, just play the game, you know, so, uh, that's alright. Um, yeah, okay, so, cool, Sonic t-shirts, I don't care. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll go into a stage, because I'm not sure how this works, if they just, yeah, collect 50 rings, then you're supersonic immediately. Uh, you can select Supersonic on the stage with L-Stick. Okay, but how does that... Collect 50 rings on the stage and the entrance in Supersonic rank. This time will not be recorded with Supersonic. Oh, of course. Of course not. I mean, yeah, how obvious. <laughs> oh, cool! So that's how you switch to Shadow as well. I didn't even know that. Fuck. I've had episode Shadow for, like, the last two YouTube streams of Forces, and I still, to this day, haven't known until now how to switch to him. Wow. <laughs> Well, there you go. Okay, great. Okay. Well, fuck Sonic, fuck Super Sonic. I want to play as Shadow. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I want to have some fun with, you know, Shadow. Show me the way. How, how do I? How do I do that, man? Teach me a spell. I won't play as a. Uh, Shadow for one. I just want to play them just to see if any gameplay is different. Like, I can see the HUDs are slightly different. Like, not even that different. It's just instead of blue, it's red. Which is something I want to do. Um. Yeah, with, with the 06's HUDs, you know, swap it so instead of it's like blueness, so, you know, make it like red or clear for Shadow and Silver or something like that, you know. Oh no, click there. Oh no, now here come the dislikers on. Shit, yeah, it's the end of the world now. Oh crap, I can't do that anymore. I should be really good at that. I think it's... I can't remember, can you double jump in a boost jump, or do you have to just double jump normally and cancel the boost? Let me try real quick. No, you can't double jump. I think you have to, like, let go and then do a, a thing. <laughs> yeah, the physics in this are very weird. Not complainable weird, but just weird. Very different to Gens and Unleashed. It's funny how I prefer, in this order, Forces, then Gens, and then finally Unleashed, because, you know, Unleashed is like the definitive modern Sonic game in my eyes. It's kind of how I would picture a, a Mark Speed section play out, you know? So, uh, meh. Uh, but that's alright, I just wanted to get an understanding of Shadow, because honestly that was like the first time I've played as him in this game. Aside from, you know, episode Shadow, playing Shadow in a Sonic level, but now I'll play as the one and only. I think you can also do this with a classic, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, snap. So just collect 50 rings. It's funny actually, now that I think about it, because... If there's one thing that this game does, it gives you shit tons of rings. Oh, what? Well, I didn't double jump, brah, brah. Can I run into- okay, cool, I can run into enemies. They still have that invincibility -ness. Yeah, I, well, that's a thing. Is that the fist bump music? I can't hear it. Turn my TV down. Feels like he does run fast, though. Let's see if that many moves slur. <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, I, I think he kind of runs faster. I, it's hard to tell. I feel like he does.
Okay, this is obviously the instrumental. But they're not going to give us the full version, are they? Does he boost faster? Nah. <laughs> I don't think he does anyway. Yeah, it's just a fucking instrumental. Not that I've got a problem with that. Okay, he just transforms back into Sonic at the end. <laughs> well, that's apparently fair enough. It's good that we're upgrading that. We're almost on two gold for the next uh, OC that I've currently got selected. Um. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll go through all of, all of the uh, the stages like this, let alone go around um, choosing all of the uh, what's it called? I can't remember now. Yeah, I won't go through all the stages, or I want to do the missions, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't even know how long I'm going to be streaming for. So I don't plan to have this like a really long stream like normal. But yeah, we'll see how time goes, I guess. But uh. I was actually going to stream yesterday, but I sadly just didn't get around, so I had too much stuff to do. Too much, uh, you know, compositions. <laughs> it's true, I had to like work on like, I think, yeah, four or five songs. And I got them all done, but just ran out of time and was tired. That's alright, I'm here now, so that's cool. Fuck, gotta go shoot. Yeah, that's fine. I understand. You can always like rewatch the stream, I guess. Uh, and that's the joy with uh, YouTube streams. I don't have to, you know, highlight the stream so people can rewatch it. They can just click, easily like click on it um, on YouTube and rewatch it. Though I must admit, there is a bit of a glitch with YouTube recently where I don't think it's archiving all of my streams. It only like shows two hours, and I'm hoping that that was just a temporary glitch. Um, because I have lost my 41 hours of 06. If you guys don't know, I did actually stream 06 for a good 41 hours in one stream. And what makes that stream so special is, for one, it was streamed on 06's 11th anniversary. And two, it was uh, also, it also contained like a, a glitch that I did, which no one, I repeat, no one has ever, ever done in the history of 06 glitches. It's like as big as MSG and I got it accidentally, so that was pretty... Pretty insane, you know? So, uh, yeah, what can I say? Insanity. Anyway, let me just quickly get rid of this real quick. Where am I going? Get rid of that. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna bring this up for a second. All right, just give me a second, guys. I won't be too long. Just gotta get rid of this bloody notification. Okay, cool. That's downloading. Beautiful. All right, let's continue. How I? Uh, OBS, where are you? There you are. Cool. Um, what? Uh, yo, what is up? Uh, Sarai and Samuel Warwick, how are you all going today? Welcome to the stream. Just came here for Xmas. Fair enough. Yeah, I hope you all had a good holiday. I kind of did. I had some ups and downs, but, um, it's a new year, so let's start fresh, you know? So, yay. <laughs> why I like YouTube streams better than Twitch. Yeah, same, and it's part of the reason why I kind of want to continue, you know, uh, what's it called? Continue YouTube streams more than uh, the Twitch streams, you know? So, uh, I'll try to stream more on YouTube from now on, I reckon, but I don't know, we'll see how we go. 
Pretty well, that's cool. Yeah, I feel like he does go a little bit faster, but it's not really noticeable. Okay, maybe it is, but, you know, I mean, I will admit, you know, it has been a while since I last played this, so uh, maybe I'm just missing the obvious, but, uh, eh. Oh, all right, we're gonna get three of those, don't we? Uh, people say this one isn't my game is bad, but I love it. I can't say that I am, you know, I love it or anything, but I think it's a good game. I like it, but um, it definitely could have done better. I mean, that's probably the case with a lot of Sonic games. Uh, obviously, 06. Uh, Generations, definitely, because I feel that, yeah, Gens was good, but there wasn't enough plot to it, you know? It was just, beat a few stages, then you're at the end, you know? There was... I think there was a good amount of cutscenes, but the amount of levels there were between it wasn't really good. I, I feel like there could have been more. Maybe two games from there, you know, games. So, in other words, have two stages from Sonic 1, two stages from Sonic 2, two stages from Sonic 3, and so on, you know? So, uh... Because at least that way, uh, it could, uh, what's it called, split it up, split the game up a bit more, make it a bit longer, so fans of stages from Sonic 1 could go, okay, we've got the boring old Green Hill Zone, but at least we've got Marble Zone, for example. Um, with Sonic 2, they could get, like, a Chemical Plant and either Emerald Hill or um, Metropolis Zone or something like that, you know? And with 06, we might even got, you know, fucking Kingdom Valley for all we know, and that's one of my favorite stages in 06, you know, so, uh... Will be answering questions or answering? Right. Uh, I will try to, I have no promises, because sometimes chat does move fast and I'm too busy playing, I guess, so, uh, I'll try. Uh, yes, and also, let's have some more characters. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I know that's, not, like, you know, never gonna happen, we, we were lucky to get Supersonic. For, for that matter, but, um... Nah. Okay, so I can't switch characters in a boss battle. That's a bit betty, just saying. I mean... Come on, give me my Supersonic. I want to fight bosses with Supersonic, man. I think I'll... I'll try playing this, uh... Until I, like, get my three gold medals. Because there's not, you know... There's not a lot to do. Because I think, yeah, I've got two medals already. And we just whiz around the, the stages and uh, mess around with Supersonic until we get, yeah, three golds for this uh, OC. And I'm dead. I'm not. <laughs> oh, I thought. No. Oh, you crumpet. And I almost killed myself again. I'm gonna go back this way only to die, aren't I? Nope. I mean, character-wise, it's improved. Uh, what do you mean by that, though? Like, as in, like, the dialogue or, or something like that? The animation of the cutscenes? Because I definitely think, yeah, it's improved. I still think it could do a little bit better, because it still has that... I mean, I know you can't really go too far, because otherwise, you know, it's not really focused for children anymore, but my point is that I've just played some games recently that aren't even, you know... Uh, Sonic related and the dialogue and sounds, oh my god, it sounds realistic, you know, and I'm not saying Sonic should be realistic in terms of dialogue, but Sonic hasn't been afraid to uh, take those darker routes to make it sound either if it be realistic or dark, you know, so I know they say curse words like damn and stuff in like uh, SA2 and Heroes, I think, um, but I, I'm not saying they should say like swear words or anything, but I'm, I, I think, yeah, it doesn't hurt to make them all sound a little more serious, because in this game, this was supposed to be taken as a serious game, a, a dark game almost, but it just came across as another Sonic game that, oh, Eggman almost conquered the world again. Big deal, we've seen that before, you know? So, uh... And I guess they did try to take that 06 route where, where they had a, oh, Sonic is practically dead, but, okay, he wasn't dead, but you know, I think, yeah, they were trying to... They just kill Super Sonic. I've got 200 rings, give me my supersonic, boy. No, no, I can't have supersonic for this cutscene transition, no, no. Makes it too easy, too fun. Fucking 
thing. Alright, whatever. Booba booba. This is so... it's so the Death Star, isn't it? Can't be the only one that thinks that. I guess Sonic's the t tor torpedo or whatever whatever they call it. Oh great, now I try... That, that so would be right, wouldn't it? Oh god, whatever. <laughs> oh dear. There's no point. What's the origin of your YouTube channel name? Well, I had two names. I had Jerif and Sky, which I like literally never used. Um, then I changed it to Jero Cyclo Daniel, which most people would recognize me by. I used that for a good two years, I reckon, maybe more. Uh, but I think just uh, I think it was like last year or the end of the year before that I changed it to Volcano the Bats. So uh, I don't want to be changing it too often. That's all. So I uh, I'll probably stick with this name for I don't know. However, longer until I like reach, I don't know, 5,000 subs, for example. Because I was initially thinking of changing my name again, but I thought that I just made Volcano the Bat, so yeah, I'll probably wait until I get bored of this name. But I only make names according to games that I play, so in the Sonic series, I want to be known as Volcano the Bat. In the Mario series, I don't know, Volcano Mario or something. <laughs> or something, but you know, I kind of want to switch it up so I don't have the same name for all the games that I play, you know, so uh. You kind of catch my drift. Um, but actually, I'm kind of curious. Would I switch to Super Sonic in this stage? I'm guessing no, considering it's, uh, you know, just Sonic. Actually, I think I chose the wrong thing anyway. Because I think if you can switch characters, it would, you know, allow you to switch to Super Sonic. Can I? I can. Okay, let's go. That's good to know. <laughs> what the fuck? Already supersonic, we're not even like fucking 10 seconds- No, I gotta- I gotta retry that. What the actual F? Like, not even 10 seconds into the stage and we're super sane already? What? <laughs> Look at that! It's like- yeah, that's like almost under 5 seconds. This is a perfect representation of what I mean with how Forces overuses the rings in this game. What's that? You think that they don't use the enemies too much? That's because they're too busy fucking using rings all over the place. Like, just go ahead and play Casino, that Casino Forest stage. There is no enemies whatsoever. Maybe one or two in every ten minutes of the stage. I swear, there's like, no enemies to be seen. There is more rings than enemies, you know, and that's the sad thing. <laughs> I'm serious, I really am. It's like, you can't find enemies anywhere. I actually purposely went around looking for robots, and I still couldn't find any. I just kept on finding rings and rings and rings and rings and rings. To the point that, yeah, I could be supersonic. Like, let's say I get 50 rings, right? And instead of transforming to supersonic just automatically like this fucking game does, have it so you can, you know, transform to supersonic at will. Say I transform into supersonic and then let the ring count to basically deplete to zero, so I'm not playing super anymore. I could transform into supersonic, I reckon, about eight times per stage. Uh, maybe more in Casino Forest, because there's definitely more rings where that came from. Like, even in this fucking stage, look how many fucking rings I've got. I could go up to a thousand if I really bloody want to. Or at least that's what it feels like. Like, look at this, 600 rings, that's more than Crisis City ever had. And that had a shitload of rings in, in my eyes. I don't know if any other Sonic games did this, but I saw a lot of rings. <laughs> I mean, that's a good thing that there's more rings. It creates more challenge for you to go for them ring attack scores, you know? But, uh... I don't know, I'm just not used to it. And, yeah, I definitely feel that there's uh, more rings than... than our robots. And obviously that that's meant to be, but... To go up to 700 or more, I, I feel like that's too much, you know? Like, 500, 600 tops, but... 700 and more, I mean... And that's 100 extra, but I didn't collect all the rings, and I'm collecting all the rings in 06 and comparing them to, to the uh, the forces. Uh, yeah, the forces, what's it called? The forces rings, you know? So, uh, shit. 
Uh, do you think I should get a uh, menu? Um, it depends really, like, I'm not a classic Sonic fan, but I still got the game and I still enjoyed it, so... Even if you're like not a classic Sonic fan and, and, and you're, not, like, you're not a fan of the uh, 2D perspective kinds of gameplay, I don't know, I can't really answer that one. I would, because it's still a Sonic game and it's apparently more praised than Forces, even though I prefer Forces than Mania. Um, but still, if you're just a Sonic fan and, and curious, definitely pick it up. But if you don't like 2D games at all, uh, and you just don't feel like getting Mania, that's up to you what you do with it. Um, I won't stop ya. <laughs> uh, let's switch to Super Sonic, yeah. It's a shame that it doesn't like auto-save your last character. I think it like does it per stage. So in other words, I have to go into every stage just to switch it to Supersonic. And then, if not, it, and it doesn't auto-save for the stage, I have to switch back to Supersonic again by going back into that stage. Which I'm not complaining, but it's, yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an auto-save on the character, the last character that you played as in the stage, you know? Or at least in my opinion. I might go on slower. Oh no. Oh no. Do you know the way? The way to what? To victory? To, to, the, to the goal? Kind of. If anything, I actually really like the glow that Supersonic emits when he's, you know, in dark areas. It's something that only 06's Supersonic did. I mean, Unleash kind of did it, but to me it wasn't really as visible as it probably should have been, regardless if it only appeared in one final boss. Um, Jens, on the other hand, I'm not too sure. I didn't really get too much experience with Jens, let alone Jens uh, Supersonic, you know, so... uh. Eh. My simplest sound effect, by the way. <laughs> um. Hmm. No, oh, great, I missed that. Whoops. That is such a ripoff from Naruto, just saying. I stand by that. <laughs> And I can't say I'm a fan of the whole idea of having Sonic transform back into Sonic just for those segmented cutscenes. Like, come on, let me play Super Sonic. What's the harm in that? Mission. Mission failed? Oh, right, that was an SOS mission. Yeah, I'm obviously missing whatever I need to save. Uh, subscribe to your channel. Thanks, man. Very much appreciated. Oh, that's good shit. The song's response. Is it? I can't really hear it. I've, uh, I basically muted my TV, so there's no echo for you guys. Um, yeah, I completely forgot that, that was uh, an SOS. My bad. We've got one here, and this is one of my ranking download cancelled. You bet I want to cancel that download. I don't want to play as a rental avatar. Fucking thing. I, like I like the idea, but nah. I made my OC, I want to be my OC. Not other people's. Also, I'm going to press nothing, by the way. Just to really show how easy it is to get out of null space. You know, the most threatening thing in this game, aside from Infinite and Eggman. Not pressing a thing right now. This is pretty much the, uh, the hang glider segments in 06. <laughs> Just constantly pushing forward. The only difference is that this ends a lot faster than the hand glider segments, at least with the uh, shadow glider segments. Yeah, they at least extend it so you can control if you want, and if you do control, you can you basically can predict where you want to go to get like upgrades and stuff, like rings and destroy enemies and stuff. And at least with one stage in uh, the hand glider segments, you do die. Uh, and that's, I think that was Crisis City, if I recall. Correctly. Um, sir. Lightning. Gotta get that lightning. 
Really though, I have no idea though where this uh, guy, the, the SOS dude is. Yep, better transform to Super Saiyan. Why can't you do that on the rail? Just saying. Seems perfectly capable. So it's an obstacle, but yeah, sure, you know, it's not interacts with, but still, it's a thing. So good. Also, uh, what do you guys think about the uh, the new series that I brought to the channel, the character swaps? Because I will be covering a character swap video practically every week um, until I have no more character swaps to do, pretty much. So I know Mel Pontro and Biasu and some other YouTubers covered character swaps, um, but they didn't cover, I wouldn't say all of them, they covered a lot, but yeah, it just all of them hasn't been done, and I feel like they could be. Um, so yeah, what better way to do it now? I just don't want to have another boring year where I just upload 06 mod videos, you know, once a week or something, where it's just different shenanigans, um, different mods per week, you know? So at least this time I'm uploading something that you guys can expect to see and will hopefully enjoy to see, you know? So that's good. Yeah, I didn't see the SOS at all in, in that entire stage, so uh, forgive me if I'm not looking around as much as I need to. But you can't really look around in this stage, really, to be fair. Because they kind of restrict it, you know, you're just on the grinding rails and homing attacking most of the time, you know? So, uh, shit. Mm. Also, I noticed they actually don't give you your uh, results screen, which is really sad. Yeah, that is a bit annoying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm only putting 2017 on the uh, the forces. Uh, title of the the stream because that's you know when the uh, when the game came out you know so uh, i do that a lot mainly because you know 06 people were like oh you're playing sonic one unless you put 2006 in the title you know so uh that's why i put 2017 for forces and i know a lot of people are going to complain when i put 2016 for a crash bandicoot insane trilogy but to me that's when it was like actually made made and i wouldn't say released but um, it was like the last developed 2016 because it was showcased and they had everything there and nothing changed for an entire year until it was released, you know, so uh, It is sad, but oh well But I'm glad that, you know, I have a uh, bet the uh, Yeah, I have bet the, the DLC for uh, Insane Trilogy because uh, that was a real train wreck in my eyes I'm not complaining, it was a fun stage and very challenging, but, uh, it was, uh, an experience, you know, I, uh, it took me four months to really complete, not exactly four months of just me playing every day, but, uh, it did about, like, once a week or once a month I would try, you know, uh, beating it or practicing up for it. You know, so, uh, that's all right. Okay, I got it for Christmas. Yeah, I, I kind of expected people to, so that's kind of why I wanted to, uh... I was expecting, like, not as much views for, uh... For Forces when I basically did my playthrough, because I pretty much streamed it day one. Um, so I... Yeah, I was expecting less views, because people were trying to avoid spoilers until they got it, which would probably be around Christmas, and sure enough, you know, so, uh... You know, that's fine. That's all cool, I understand. Um... I might just keep on going back into this until I can, you know, progress my, uh, the, the gold, what's it called, the, the metal things that you get. Cause, gotta start somewhere. Oh 
Alright, so... I don't really like that, how it automatically transforms you into super. I kind of get why they did it, but... Jesus Christ, let me just double jump into Supersonic. Because there is a double jump feature, and yeah, sure, most people would just be trying to do a double jump. But, still... You mean my accessibility to transform into him, like you did in the classics, like you did in Gens, from memory? I'm probably wrong with that one, but still. You mean the double jump feature? Fucking thing. <laughs> no, seriously though, that's just, uh... It's kind of annoying. How you just instantly transform into him. Like, what if I don't want to transform into Supersonic when I have 50 rings? Now, I know this game has a lot of rings, so I'm, it's not like I'm going to run out of rings, but in the classic specifically, I would save my, you know, save up my rings occasionally to uh, make sure I have at least 100 rings when I transform into Supersonic, so I have 100 seconds to uh, explore the next part of the, the stage, because, you know, I can't tell you how many times there'd be a stage that I haven't explored um, and want to with Supersonic, so I would save up the rings so I can explore, but with this, it's like, okay, again, there's rings everywhere, so it's not, you know, I shouldn't worry about running out of rings, but, uh, still, what if I don't want to transform into Super? This is something I think Kirby also had as a, an issue from Sonic Mania, and I'm sure you had the opportunity to switch from Supersonic, or Sonic into Supersonic, but, um, I can't tell you how many times he would accidentally tap the uh, the jump button twice when he just wants to, you know, explore as normal Sonic uh, for a few reasons. Uh, but that's something I think Mania got for hate. Uh, the fact that he couldn't uh, switch back to a... Uh... Yeah, he couldn't switch back from, uh, what's it called, Super Sonic to, to uh, normal Sonic, you know? So uh... that was a bit of a problem. Also, what is up? Sonic playthroughs, aka Hyper Polygons. How are you going today? Um, and what is up, Mario? And I can't say his name. Ja Sirius Chandler. I think I hope I said that right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not good with pronouncing names. But uh, how are you all going today? Hope you guys are having an amazing holiday. I don't even know how to add people, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not really, um, yeah, I never really got the whole thing with adding people online. Like, I would like to, I would love to, but, um, yeah, I just don't know if I want how to and never really found the time for it, but if I remember by the time the stream's over, I'll definitely, uh, consider doing that. So remember, there's this guy called Elite Scorpion who's been fucking hassling me to death to fucking <laughs> add him. And I will get around to it eventually, but uh, just time, that's all. Uh, yeah, it's PS4. I do actually have Forces for uh, Xbox One. Uh, I got it for Christmas, actually. It's funny how I got now forces for PS4 on day one and forces for Xbox One on Christmas. Like, I know it's a bit like, but why? It's the same game. But if you guys have played 06 for PS3 and 360, you guys know why I want to get the two console separate, you know, versions. Because while there probably is no differences for forces or Mania, because yeah, I got Mania for Xbox One and PS4. It's, uh, I'm a bit of a collector, I guess you could say, so, uh, it is, you know, good to have both, in case of any differences, even, even if there is none at all, um, it's still good to have that, you know, just in case, I guess. Um, I love this game on touch, I need to play Mania. Oh, you're gonna play Mania first and then move on to this? Yeah, fair enough. That's cool. Because, yeah, Mania is a bit of a prequel, isn't it? I think. In terms of uh, Dimension Sonic. Yes, I'm going to say Dimension Sonic. I'm sorry, but Classic Sonic, yeah, that's not a thing in this game. It's not like he's a classic 
past character. He's from another dimension. It's not like the, the, the Sonic from Sonic Mania has experienced everything from Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles, and uh, Sonic 4. No, no, this is a different Sonic. Or at least the way this is going, this is like the uh, dimension, the, the classic Sonic of the modern Sonic era, you know? Kind of, it's kind of hard to explain. You can kind of understand where I'm coming from, is this? Ah, cool. Uh, was my name on the PlayStation console? I think it's the same as my YouTube, just poke into the bat. So try searching that up. Yeah, I still haven't played the Xbox One versions. Yeah, I might try that eventually, putting on the, uh, the Xbox One versions. Because uh, it would be great to play Forces and Mania again. Um... No, first on Christmas in 2017. Nice. Yeah, it seems to be the case with a, with a lot of people. I mean, that's fine. Again, that's part of the reason why I wasn't expecting many views uh, when I first did my first like, playthrough of, uh, of Forces. So I knew there was a lot of people still trying to, you know, avoid spoilers and stuff like that. Alright, so there, were, there is a, an SOS here. I won't try to go too fast because I know he's probably somewhere around here. It's funny because I only like did one or two SOS missions, then after that I haven't found any since then, and that was like from what, day one, day two of me playing forces, so uh Yeah, what can I say? <laughs> Lost the act for uh, finding keys and boxes in this uh in this game. Also, what do we think about the, uh, the, the voice actors in this game? Because I know a lot of people were kind of on the fence with, you know, the cast's uh, performances. I still prefer four kids, regardless of how silly they might sound. Or kids. I mean, in the stream, or uh, when I said in the stage, I was talking about the, uh, the animals in the uh, capsules that get caught, because most of them, I'm pretty sure anyway, are supposed to be kids. So I can't really imagine Trim the rabbit's mother getting trapped in a capsule. It's like, oh no, I'm captured. Oh, Sonic, help me, because I'm Princess Peach. Should I play Forces? Um, if you want. I can't guarantee you'll have the best experience, because there are some some problems that I would nitpick at this point, but um Oh my god, that's a shortcut. Um, but yeah, it's It's on the fence with me. Um I definitely prefer Gens and Unleashed over over Forces, so yeah, so far this really isn't my favourite modern game. But I'm not saying it's the worst, you know, in fact, I, I think I actually might prefer this more than SA1, and that's a bold claim, and I still haven't really got a lot of evidence to support that. And I'm not saying that as a fact or anything, I'm saying in my opinion, because I like a lot of things from both games, but... I might prefer this more than SA1. It's a tough one because SA1 has the physics that I'm after in a Sonic game, while this doesn't. But at the same time, this gets a lot of other stuff right, like the dialogue, the, the graphics. And I know SA1 came out fucking years ago, so can't expect a lot of stuff. But, nah. Anywho. Yeah, it's completely up to you, though, if you play it. Yeah, no, a lot of people are going to disagree, because they're more SA1 fans than, or SA fans for that matter, than the uh, modern era, which, you know, that's completely fine, but in my experience, there were some small things that I just kind of prefer than SA1. Um, and I'm not saying that SA1 is, you know, wasn't made as good as, uh, as Forces, I'm just saying that in terms of 
again, little things that I've picked up on. Because I don't really know what they were trying to go with for SA1. Because um, it was practically like the first game that they made in 3D, you know? So you can't really expect complete perfection or anything because it was their, you know, it was like the first time. So I understand that. I really do. But there are, you know, it's kind of hard to explain because like, again, it's little things like the dialogue because I definitely prefer the dialogue in uh, Forces than I do SA1 and I think most people would agree with that. I mean, yeah, sure, I probably do prefer other voice actors like the 4Kids cast to do the roles of SA1 or even Forces for that matter, but I do prefer the, the more modern cast than the uh, SA1 cast. But that's just from my experience. And I completely understand and respect people's opinions who uh, think otherwise, you know? So, no, that's fine. I understand. Um, so, yeah, we'll keep going. There's not really a lot for me to do in Forces anymore. All I can really do is those missions, which I, yeah, I was gonna do initially, but I don't know, they seem. I wouldn't say pointless, but they're just so tiny and so little to do that at this point, yeah. I could literally do it on a Twitch stream and it would make no difference. It's not, I mean, come on. Is there anyone here who actually wants to see that? And see me do that? Like the, it's not even the missions really. It's just, oh, beat five enemies with Sonic, beat five enemies with EOC, beat five enemies with Classic Sonic, you know? It's that kind of stuff, which is like really small little things that would make no difference if I streamed them or not. Or if I streamed on Twitch instead. You know, so, uh, shit. Good though that we are, you know, progressing the, uh, the stats up very slowly. Let's see. Yeah, we can move that up quite a lot. I might just, uh, I'll see what happens if we retry, because uh, I still haven't really tested this out. I'm kind of curious. Uh, yeah, my stats go up higher if I just retry instead of having to go out of the, the, uh, the stage and then go back into it, you know? Yeah, that supersonic transformation is very distracting, I'm sorry, but I'm not really a fan of that. Yeah, that'd be uh, amazing, because if there's one thing that this game doesn't have, sadly, it's speed, you know, the main thing that Sonic's famous for. Because, yeah, I can't tell you how many times I would feel like I'm going really slow, and I'm not saying it's like 06 slow, but comparison to Generations and Unleashed, mainly Unleashed, Sonic in this game is fucking slow for a modern Sonic gameplay. Um, it doesn't feel like I'm boosting. It's part of the reason why I prefer Unleashed as my favorite Sonic game of all time, because in Unleashed you actually do feel like you're boosting. You go fucking flying. It's almost like a spin dash jump almost, you know? So. Uh, and I can kind of see why they didn't apply the spin dash into Unleashed because, you know, of how broken the fucking the boost was. Just boost and jump. It was, it was practically the same as spin dash jumping. Yeah, sure, some changes, but you go fast, you get to jump, you get to go flying. Similar kind of concept, you know? So, uh... And I know a lot of people, including myself, are going to prefer the spin dash than the boost, but... It's only been one game where I have really enjoyed the boost more than gems and, you know, forces. And it's part of the reason why I wasn't really... Yeah, I, I didn't mind the fact that it was appearing in future Sonic games until playing this. Have I really gone, shit, he goes slower, I don't like the boost anymore, make it fast, or fucking give me the spin dash back, you know? <laughs> now I know if they did bring back the spin dash, there are still chances that they could do what they did with 06. Obviously, you can't jump out of it unless you hold down the action button. Have it so it's stupid slow and it doesn't slow down at all. It's just the same slow speed for a good four seconds. 
They could do all kinds of things with it, and it would just piss off the fans of the uh, Spin Dash. So that might be part of the reason why they haven't brought it back, but... I've noticed that, you know, Sonic Team like to kind of change their formula of uh, attacks uh, when it comes to, like, different Sonic games. It's never really been the same unless you look at Sonic 1 and 2. But even with Sonic 2, they did change the abilities a little bit. They had it so uh, Sonic could spin dash. They had it so you could transform into Super Sonic. They had it so when you hit a spike, you don't immediately die like you do in Sonic 1. So they did change it up. And that's the same with Sonic 3. They, you know, introduced, like, the elemental shields and all that jazz, you know? So, uh... But really, it's been the, the main focus. It's, you know, Sonic 1 so we've had very, 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 very similar controls. And I would assume Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 would do the same thing. But, uh, still. I am expecting some changes, because I think you can grind, don't... Don't spoil it. I think you can grind in uh, SA2. It was the first game to introduce it, from what I've heard. Um, you know, so uh, that's fine. So okay, they add stuff to the game. That's fine. I don't, I'm not, you know, complaining. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with that kind of feature. I like grinding. Um, and I do like it when they add stuff to the game. What I don't like is when they change stuff that is a core element of gameplay because that's what they've done with the boost you know they've taken something that's so original and so i wouldn't say enjoyed by all the fans but it's a really cool aspect of modern sonic and it's the one thing that kind of encourages me to play the, the you know the modern games and i know a lot of people are just gonna be like oh whatever boost to win or oh, too easy but that's what i loved about the games you know like Clement says in his review, you know, it isn't a bad thing to have pure destruction in a game where you could just make it easy as. And thank god it's not for all the stages where you get to boost and win. Actually, if you really think about it and you want to be really cruel, if you hold down boost, you don't win. You land into a wall and you either die or you don't go anywhere. You have to jump, you have to move, you have to do stuff aside from boosting. Yeah, sure, boosting makes the stages faster and easier to beat. But still. It's, again, it's like spamming the spin dash in Sonic Adventure 1, almost, you know? The only difference is, you know, you don't have to spam it, you just hold it down. When it comes to boosting, you know? So, uh... Okay, we're almost there. Getting there, building up the medals. But, uh... I don't know, what do you guys prefer, the Spin Dash or the uh, Boost? I guess it's kind of what you prefer from which game. Like, you might go, oh, I prefer the Spin Dash in Sonic Adventure 1, but I hate it in 06. And I prefer the Boost in Unleash, and I hate it in Forces. And I completely understand that, but... I guess, yeah, it kind of really just sums down to what's your favorite Spin Dash, and what's your favorite Boost, and do you prefer the your favorite Spin Dash over your favorite Boost or something, you know? And I know it's a tough question, because to me both are, are really cool elements, and I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing both elements appear in a Sonic game. It's actually something I am considering doing for my projects in 06, because obviously 06 Sonic has Spin Dash, and I'm considering adding the boost into the Mark Speed section, so, uh, because you know, Sonic runs fast, but if you run into an enemy, you fucking take a damage, you know, you take a hit. So, the least you can do is the fact that also Mark Speed Sonic does have an action gauge meter. Have it so you can boost, so you can run into, run into, uh, into enemies and, and not die or whatever. Spin Dash? Yeah, I guess I'm the same. I didn't really like it in 06, I think most people didn't like it, but um... Yeah, I, I still haven't played SA2. I don't know how it plays in that. Again, no spoilers, but uh... Spin Dash in SA1 was actually really cool, I, I didn't mind that at all. The only kind of nitpick, I guess, was the fact that you could clip through stuff with it if you charged it up enough. There you go, two golds. Three golds, that's what I was after. So I got, I think I got two silvers and then I got, yeah, the three golds. I was expecting it to go silver instead of just immediately from bronze to gold, but whatever. That's a, that's a thing. Uh, but that's cool, we're done with uh, that. I can go either way. Fair enough. 
I mean, to me, yeah, it would be great to have them both in a game. Because it just kind of... I don't know. It, it allows you to, to make you play a Sonic game the way you want to play it. Because if people hate the spin dash, they can use the boost. If people hate the boost, they can use the spin dash. You know? Or if people love them, they can use them both. <clears throat> and that's true the other way around. If they hate them, you don't have to use it, you know? So uh, that's understandable. Um, same game. Yeah, same. Let's see if someone had a boost. Oh, hmm. We'll see. Yeah, it's, it's hard because I know that there is, in a, I think it's called Speed Highway, the stage. It's been a while. Um, yeah, in, in that stage, like, there's, a, there's an area that practically plays exactly like a Mark Speed section, and I'm surprised nobody compares this to Mark Speed Sonic. Now, I know you're running downhill down a, a skyscraper, so it's not really, there's not really a lot to compare. But still, it's like, yeah, but... <laughs> it's still the same kind of gameplay, or at least in my eyes, so uh, I don't really see uh, why people hate only a Mark Speed section too much, but my point of bringing this up is that people could just, you know, go, oh, that's someone, you know, added a, a boost formula kind of thing into SADX as a mod, when really they just applied the same kind of Mark Speed gameplay that appears in that city uh, highway kind of stage. And just apply it for normal kind of uh, gameplay, if you know what I mean, instead of just running down a building. Um, did I do it? I did it. Cool. Uh, spin dash in SA2 is almost the same, but you can't spin it like in SA1. Well, I don't like it then. <laughs> no. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's a good thing. Because you can't spam it in the classics, so, uh... Because I basically added that into, um... Into 06 and it doesn't really work, because the sound effect for when you release a spin dash is just like fire, it's like flames just, or even wind, it's literally just, you know, some kind of a windish sound effect, if you guys have heard it. Um, and yeah, if you spam it, you would hear that sound, and it doesn't really work for a spin dash spam sound, you know, if you compare it to SA1. Now, I kind of do like it like this, because it doesn't, it's not like in your face, do 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 when you're spamming it, it's just, you know, so, uh, um, I do prefer that, but still, I know a lot of people that might not kind of like that. So, meh. I still want to have it in 06 where you can spam the spin dash, but I don't know, I might have to make a poll on that one. You know, do like a vote system. There's a small slow up time. Fair enough. Uh, what are the next? Because they're stupid and dangerous, I don't know. <laughs> nah, it's, I think it was just to uh, uh, save people from dying a lot, because um, a lot of people... The death triggers I can kind of understand, because a lot of people would like to uh, not die, I guess, in a, in a stage, and yeah, a lot of times they just run off a cliff when they don't know what's a cliff and what's not a cliff. So that's part of the reason why I kind of do like the Sonic 4 barriers that tell you when you're going to die if you go down. I know a lot of people that hated that. Um, but yeah, I didn't mind it because, it, yeah, it really did indicate what you're going to die on. And it's part of the reason why there was no invisible barriers in that game, you know? So uh, regardless if it's 2D or not. Um, but the... Uh, yeah, the, the, the actual invisible barriers that are like in a, a 06, how you can just walk up to a wall when you want to explore and there's like an invisible wall like that. Yeah, I, I've got nothing on that. I think that's just rushed collision. They didn't really have time to uh, really model the collision to the exact extent of um, 
yeah, the exact extent of the uh, stage model. It really does suck, I'm sorry, but yeah, just not a fan. I think most people can agree on that one. Have we done this? I feel like we haven't. Wait, how do you check how many medals you've- oh, you actually- okay, it's there. Um... Collection. Okay, we did get three gold medals on that one. Just wanted to check, that's all. An avatar. Alright, I guess, yeah, we'll make a new avatar then. Actually, before I do, sorry. I'm gonna just double check which uh, is which. So it doesn't tell you which is a dog and which is a cat and so on. That's a cat, that's, I think, a dog, and I think that's a wolf. It's hard to tell. Oh, okay, yeah, it does tell you there. So that's, yeah, that's a dog. And that's a wolf. Yeah, okay, cool. So dog, cat, and wolf. So I guess now not to the rabbit. It's gonna be fucking weird, I can just tell. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. That just looks like you just got beaten up though, so probably this one. <laughs> um, what's the most white looking? That one kind of, but that seems to look like a shadow. What about that pink though, which I don't want to make. No, whatever. this Seems like Hang on. I want to see it how do I see it it's, it's not I press X and it just selects it oh wait a minute uh, where is my big there it is okay see yeah it's not sh oh I have to press square duh Yeah, okay, that one will do. Complete. Looks great. Cool beans. And I'm getting a message on the score. Which up, dudes? Avatar. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm still trying to keep it to the original kind of style that uh, my OC is on my profile picture. And it looks, I guess, close enough, regardless if it's a bat or a rabbit. But um, there is still some stuff I want to change. Hey, I'm doing a plat run right now. What's this on a Crash and Sane trilogy? Because when you say plat, all I can think of is platinum. And I don't think this game has platinum stuff, unless it's in Sane trilogy. Um, where am I going? Yeah, put a wig on or something. <laughs> Oh god. Oh great, I can't separate the ears, can I? That's just a thing. <laughs> oh shit. What if I do that? Okay, that just looks creepy. Kill it. Platinum trophy. 
Does this game have platinum trophies? What, sorry, what, what game are you talking about? Oh, do you mean for like the PS4? The forces. Because I'm not, yeah, I haven't really followed the trophy system for both PS3 and PS4, sadly. I was going to since 06, you know, would have had it, but the fact it didn't, I just never really got into it. Because I was more, I had more 360 games than PS3 games. And while I prefer the PS4 over the Xbox One, I still, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really follow the, the trophy system as much as I probably should. Because I was all about achievements, I fucking, fucking try and get as many as I could for every game that I played. But, meh. I'm bad. <laughs> nah. Well, that's alright, but I think I already used that, didn't I? From memory. Oh, we'll, we'll come back to it. Uh, basically getting all the trophies in the game, doing all missions, or... Yeah, yeah. That's something that kind of disappointed me when... When someone said that, you know... There was no point in collecting the silver medals at all on the PS3 version. Sure, you get something on the 360, but... It is actually pointless on the uh, PS3 version. Now, I played the 360 version more, so it didn't really bother me as much as it should, but... It definitely was disappointing, because I do care for 06, but, um, yeah, it is sad. They couldn't invent something as basic as a trophy system. Now, I know that trophies didn't exist back when 06 was released for PS3, but they could have updated it, but they didn't. They chose not to, so that's their fault. I'm blaming them for that one. Sorry. For that one. Nice. This one. Cool. Hmm. Daily mission. Uh, most of them are speed on. Nice. nice. Yeah, like just then I got something for the daily missions. I can't remember if you get like trophies for that, but it's something I probably will never do because I, yeah, it's not like I'm going to be playing this game every day. So that's just me there. Alright, let's take a look. Okay, yeah, fault so. We are using that eye thing. Um, what's in the closet? I don't know what that's supposed to be for. Um, upper. Was it upper? No, it was like middle. Yeah. So I feel like I should use glasses or something. It kinda looks cool but weird. Wait, what is this supposed to be? Cyclops? Yeah, I can't tell you how many times they've actually used Marvel and DC inspiration for costumes. It's like, oh good, we're trying to be superheroes now, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty cool, I reckon. Pretty badass. Probably could be better, but at this point I really just don't give enough of a shit to fucking, you know, develop an OC no to look more different. <laughs> yeah, that is something I have actually done. But yeah, it took a while, but I'm glad I did it because it was a good challenge. Um, it wasn't too long. It wasn't too short. Well, it was long enough. That's for sure. <laughs> But, um, I think that's probably all I'll do with forces, I reckon, for now, because, uh, just, just thinking, I, I do have some more missions to do. Like, look at this, I have to clear all these stages in, like, a certain time limit. I have to get the gold medal as these 
extra OCs, which, you know, I, I will get to, and that's what I'm kind of slowly doing now. Um, clear five SOS missions, that's not really something I'm looking forward to, because you guys have seen how I've uh, done on the uh, SOSs from just this stream, so you can imagine trying to just complete them, oh boy. Uh, and the thing I'm kind of worried about is when I do complete this, it's going to be like, okay, now clear 10 SOSs, now clear 15 SOSs. You know, it's just going to go on and on and on. And yeah, I'm not going to be a fan of that. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of why I'm doing these gold medal things. Um, but yeah, these time limit stage things, I, yeah, I'm not sure. I might try stage 3 though, because that's a start I suppose. 15 is max, but by that do you mean it does go from 5 to 10 to 15? Also what is up Daniel? How are you going today? Welcome to the stream. So stage 3 was it, yeah. Oh goody, it's a classic Sonic stage, my favourite. And I can't remember if Supersonic does add to that timer for the, uh, the mission that you need to do. Now I forget what time I had to beat, unfortunately. Oh, you bastard. Just trying to go to the upper level. The only thing I hate about this stage is that if you fall down, you can't get back up until like the the, uh, the very end of this entire stage. Oh shit! So you can also fall down there. I feel like I'm doing really slow, but at the same time, considering how classic Sonic is, you know, in general, I think I'm doing a, a riot for now. And I'm gonna take damage, because, you know, everybody loves that. And the Sonic game... Was it 1 minute and 10 seconds? I feel like it was, and I'm gonna miss it just by a second. You bastard. I think that was the time, actually. I feel like that was the time. Was it? It was, wasn't it? Year 5, 10 for it, year 15. Ah, uh, okay, no worries. Um, yeah, I think that was. Wait, what? Clear stage 3 within... Oh, within a minute. Fuck, so yeah, like 20 seconds, fucking hell, alright. Bloody oath. I mean, that does seem plausible, but... Meh. Yeah, fair enough, man. Sure, cool. Have I mentioned how much I don't really like this stage? Because I don't like it. Visually, I love it, but um, the level design is too com complex for my tastes. So I've grown up with the uh, Crash Bandicoot kind of 2D style of gameplay and level design, and you can definitely tell that that's something that Sonic does not do. Fuck. There's one thing I do like about Classic Sonic though, is the drop dash, that's pretty cool. Plus, but the wall. It feels slow, I really do. It feels like I'm like running into wall after wall after wall after wall. Oh, fuck this, I'm just, yeah, I keep on fucking up by like either running into a wall or falling down. Like that, like what the, come on, what was that? Mm, try Supersonic. Yeah, see the only problem though, I think, is that Supersonic isn't allowed. As in, it doesn't add to the timer, you don't get like the, the award for completing the mission if you do it with Supersonic. Like, I'll try it. But, for one, I don't even think Supersonic is uh, faster than Classic Sonic, and even if he is, he doesn't really... I don't think he's faster. It doesn't feel like it. And two, when you actually do get 50 rings, it also kind of kills about two seconds or so. 
and well, two seconds doesn't really matter. It's a it's a fast stage, you know, a one minute stage, so uh, you do have to be fast. For that we're already at, you know, forty seconds left. Do you see what I mean? Like I feel like I go slower. Okay, more than two seconds. I don't know how long that was. Definitely longer. See, I don't feel like I go fast at all with Supersonic. 20 seconds. I wish that Classic Sonic could stomp. That would definitely help a lot. But, meh. Do you not see how slow I feel like I'm going? I don't know. I just feel like I lose a lot of both speed and momentum in this game. This, man. See, that, that's what I mean. I hate going downstairs to, you know, in that stage because it just kills so much time. Like, I was I was at 1 minute and 20, I wasn't even at the top part of the, of the, uh, the stage, so I think it is wise to stay, you know, up above. Um, for multiple reasons, but. Oh, fucking hell, man. I just want, I want to go up there. Go up! And I didn't even make it that time, fucking hell. Bloody hell, Harry. There's seconds left. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, you can definitely tell that I'm not a fan of both the physics and the level design in this game. Specifically for Classic Sonic. Or Dimension Sonic, whichever you want to choose. It's like, oh, okay, I could go up there, rip. Whatever, it doesn't matter. That's the speed I'm talking about. Still, I could go faster, but, you know. Oh, I just realized it does actually freeze your time when you transform. Okay, well, that's good. Actually, that's a thought. Can you freeze the timer when you pause it? Because I know there was a bit of a glitch you can do with a demo. So, maybe. Just maybe. Why does he go so slow after jumping on an enemy? Like, fucking hell. Keep your momentum, dude. You don't need to reset that speed though, you know? It's apparently not. And there goes my minute. How long should this fucking stage do I need to do, man? Oh, it just goes on and on, man. Shit. I'll try do uh, yeah, I'll try doing it again and I'll pause it when I'm transforming and we'll see how that works. Oh, come on again. Just get up there, dude. Oh, well, that did the trick. Pause. There you go. I don't, yeah, I don't even know if I timed it right, but it was a bit late. Oh, come on, game. He doesn't feel fast at all, I'm sorry. It's it. This does not feel fast. That's the joy about transforming into super to go fast, or faster. Feels like the same fucking speed, if not worse. I'm shy. There we go, I kind of feel a little bit faster now. Only because I'm spin dashing a lot and drop dashing a lot. Oh, you bastard. What the f. No, 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 fuck. No, come on, man. 
Why does it do that? Why does it just dump you into like the underground place? Not cool, man. Not cool at all. I've only got fucking 10 seconds, 15 seconds to do this. No, 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 no. Come on, 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 come on. No! It's so close, man. It's like right there. Beast, dude. Yeah, I want to get on the top part, and that's, you know, that's what I'm trying to do, but. Like I said, you just, there's so many paths that just dump you underground. Just believe me, I want to. Like I said, I hate the underground part. That's why I want to get on on the top part. Because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty certain that that is the faster way to go. But <laughs> there's so many, you know, alternative routes that you don't want to take, which ultimately lead to your underground path. You know, like that. Like, come on. Shit. Okay, that's pointless. I do feel like a spin dashing is a bit faster, you know, just to get like that instantaneous speed that you're after in a scenic game. Okay, you're transforming, that's good. See, that's kind of good, how he transformed when uh, I was in the middle of an obstacle. It didn't like take away from my experience. It, it didn't like stop. Dude, oh my God. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That is what the fuck I am talking about. Just, no, nah, just dump you. Like, you're dead. You didn't make that. I am trying to learn as much as I don't want to, but... See, like that. I couldn't control that. Ugh. Jump. Jump. I didn't say jump there, though. I know I am trying to rush it, but as much as I, you know, learn the map, it's not really going to... Well, I mean, it might help, but still won't change the fact that the physics are going to help me fucking get underground, which I don't want. So I think he transforms into super when he goes into a pole, I think. It's just a guess. Okay, that's about halfway the stage done with 33 seconds. Make it, make it, make it, thank you. Still kind of on that underground path, dude. Come on. jump and I am trying I'm jumping it but I think I'm like jumping in that gap it's a matter of timing yes we're super we get it lost that top part rip because I can't take my time to go up otherwise I lose time for that you know
Why is he going so slow? Jesus Christ, move! Nah, I'm not gonna make it this time either. Ah, oh, great, now we're going underground again. <laughs> See, what was that? I couldn't even control it. <gasps> oh, physics suck. They really do. Like, if someone were to mod Generations, you know, and, and turn it into forces, I'd easily prefer it over this thing. Okay, we're a lot behind time. So, yeah, we probably won't do, do it um, on this attempt either. Wait, this is going. What is it with the obstacles failing? Like, that's the fucking like third time now. I've hit that spring and it doesn't take me to where it's meant to go. Is it really because of the physics? Underground is this is not where I'm meant to be, dude. Can help. <sighs> All right, let's try something else. Still back here. Fuck. Mm. I'm like, I'm really trying to like not go down, but they, yeah, I just wasted my time save that I've been saving. Isn't that wrong? Because I, I was, I was going faster than normal, and I just lost it because of that fucking underground path. We're gonna make it this time. No, we're not. <laughs> what is that, dude? Am I doing something wrong? I'm running into the spring as normal. That, that is exactly what you're meant to do. Every time it has worked, except for fucking a few occasions. And I quitted. Fuck you, game. Damn it. And I'm getting a message from someone. Okay, I can get one set up for you. I mean, there's a lot of bots. Yo, what is up, Sega the Hedgehog? How are you going today? Welcome to the stream. I still feel that even when I do beat this time as Supersonic, it won't, you know, apply. Because I think he did say that it was faster, just a little bit. So I'm kind of wasting my time just trying to do it, you know. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. 
Actually, I just realized I didn't choose Supersonic, so that's a good thing. But see, he just keeps on dumping me back to these alternative routes, and it's just fucking annoying. It's part of the reason why I just do not like the stage. Visually, I fucking love it, but yeah. Level design, I hate. Sorry. Okay, we still have a bit of time loss. I don't know what it is with that, but yeah, we just don't seem to be going that fast if we take that route for whatever reason. Man, I took the underground. What the f Oh my god. <sighs> Level sucks, man. Too many, too many paths to, to fall and, and go underground. Is it is it just wanting you to go there? Is that it? That's what I hate when they rush level design on you, you know? See, that's probably why we go faster, because we take that route there. Kinda makes sense. Yeah, that is a little bit faster, I think. I like the jump on that. It's annoying. Please don't fall, thank you. And you fell. Fuck you, game. What? See, like, what was that? <laughs> you didn't land on the fucking spring. Oh my god. Bruh. Do you not see how stupid this is? Like, obviously you need to go fast to complete the damn thing, but... Oh man. I hate hitting that spring, I don't know why, I'm just not a fan of it. Uh, hello? That's also another thing. It's the fact that the springs are like hidden in the stage, and when you run over them, then they appear. Like, what is that? Come on. of this stage have we got to go left? Yeah, I can just tell you right now that I'm going to have a, a really hard time trying to get all the time attacks with the classic Sonic or Dimension Sonic. It's just, yeah, I, and yeah, just does not work with me. This is, you know, like, if you ask me why I don't like uh, classic Sonic's, you know, level design and 2D stuff, it's basically because of this, you know, it's just too hard to get a time of a fast time or complete the stage fast, you know? I can't see what's ahead, I have to predict what's ahead. Especially when it's actually on screen, I have to predict what it's gonna do, what how it's gonna change the way I play. And I'm too busy replaying it to get it right than you know, doing it the normal way when I could do it the normal way if I'm playing a 3D game, you know, because I can see what the fuck's ahead. I'm sorry, but that's yeah, it's just it's bothersome tedious in my eyes. And rip chat. See, I feel like where I am now is not where I need to be. 
Because I am not underground, thank god, until now. But I still... I still was falling down, and I could see a spring above me that was going to take me to a more higher route, which I think is where I need to be. But that's just it. I don't know how to get there. Am I missing something? I probably, I probably am. I mean, there's like a probably another spring before that or something, you know? that it just dumps you it's like oh you took another pop so you have to go down now <laughs> all right so i'll try looking around for more places to go up there see like come on dude how am i meant to do that Pr pretty much every time now that's just failed on me what is that I'm sorry, but like seriously, I've see I've done it before. You touch the spring, it takes you to the spring. So what is the game's excuse? It has to be physics. It's you know it just never was the same as normal classic physics. You know, and they it's not even the same as the same as Jen's physics for that matter. And I didn't mind Jen's physics. Kind of preferred them than the classics, but this just tries to combine birds and it fucking fails. Oh god, I can't come do anything. Seriously, this is just bad. See, if I take this route, you do kind of go a bit faster because it takes you to a few loopy loops that speed you up if you do it right, aside from what I just did then, because that was fucking slow as. And if you take this route, this takes you slowly back up, which you kind of get a bit of speed for. So I do think that's kind of faster. But this part coming up now, it's going to do it again. See, I hit this... No, I'm going to do it again. Hit the spring. See, it, what the fuck? Am I meant to jump on it? Because every time I have ran into it, it has done it right. That's like fucking the tenth time now. That is evil. That's really evil. It's fucking annoying, if anything. Make it, make it, fuck, like, what the fuck? I'm sorry, like, that is, I, there is no other explanation for that. It's hilarious how bad it is. Just take me to the Boston. I'm holding down right. I touched the spring. Take me to my fucking spring. Oh, God. That, yeah. I don't get it, though, because, like, I understand if it's, if it doesn't work full stop, but... The sad thing is it has been working, you know, for this stream, but only just recently it's been like, no, 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 fuck you, you have to do it the evil way or something, I don't know. Just to waste my time. Oh god, I'll try jumping on it this time, see if that makes a fucking difference, as much as it probably won't. I'm gonna jump into that. <laughs> See, now it fucking works. That is abysmal. That is fucking boring. I'm gonna try spin dashing here. Doesn't matter how fast you go, you're gonna get enemies. 
I will admit, that was a lot faster. And that, yeah, that pretty much... I'll end the stage bucket. That, yeah, that was a lot better. But that one spring, man, oh dear, that is torturous. <laughs> oh, man. What the boost would make you go faster? How long do you help the button? Bigger way of becoming scary. Interesting. Well, I mean, hmm. Yeah, I guess. I can't really see that happening, to be honest. I, I, I mean, I would see it working the other way around. You know, the, the longer you hold it down, the, the less you, or the slower you go. Um, you know, because at least that way, it's kind of like the spin dash, you know, you charge it up, you go super fast, and over time, the more you're in a spin dash, the more you slow down. Um, but yeah, speeding up, I don't really see happening, because, you know, Sonic's, you know, Sonic's gonna get tired, if anything. It's not gonna gain more energy by running. I think, anyway, that's just a guess. <laughs> Slow down this way. Physics at its finest. Uh, yo, what is up, Huey and two sprites? Uh, how are you all going today? Time save. Shit. Did I miss? Yeah, I missed that. Whatever. <laughs> and then it's oh my god. Oh man, there must be like a magnet for Sonic to fly down there. So I swear, I am not doing this on purpose. He is just falling down there every time he can. Every advantage he gets. Why does he go slower now? Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. We're good now. Alright, cool. Well, a little bit better. There you go. Oh, he like only just makes it. It's like evil. Did I still make that? No, I didn't! No! Wow! Jesus Christ! Oh, God, it's like I, I, everything I do is like completely worthless if you can't make that one jump. Like, I've, at this point, I've kind of memorized the pattern of the level now. And I, you know, I'm still not getting it. So shit. That was fast. I don't know which route I took just then, to be honest. But uh, that was actually pretty fast. I think that's the, the route I am needed to uh, to take uh, for this to work. Oh, for fuck's sake! 
So obviously, yeah, you can't jump in there, otherwise you're going to take this route, that's going to dunk you down again, because fuck you, game doesn't want to be outside. Got to take the down route, that's a minute. Oh man, this is evil. I don't like this stage. Yeah, that was, oh shit, that was fast. That was really fast. I usually keep track of the time when I get them segments, and yeah, that was really fast. You need that kind of a time, I reckon. Oh, make it, make it, make it, make I knew that wasn't gonna happen! I knew it! I fucking- oh god. Holy crap, man! That is... Really, really bad level design. Like, they needed to either move it more right, is the game frozen? It is loading. It's loading. Um, but yeah, seriously. That is evil. Whoever... Yeah, fire. Whoever the fuck made that part of the level. It doesn't work. You, no matter how hard you move right. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna try... Yeah, I think moving slow into it might do the trick as much... Yeah, as weird as that sounds. Because I've noticed that I'm actually moving really fast. Um, yeah, moving really fast when I actually enter these uh, sequences, so maybe if I go slow somehow, that will somehow, in its weird physicsness, will auto-correct itself and fix this fucking thing. See, I'm going fast now, if I go slow, <laughs> it fixed it! Oh god, no, that's, I don't even need to say anything else, man. Let's try spin dashing, into a fucking spike, gonna get hit, kill some more time, why not? There goes that time attack, so that it was two things. I think I would have gotten the time, maybe. Five, six? Six. I always get one six. That might have been one four, if I didn't run into the spikes and get hit at the same time. Wow. Alright. Let's try this again. I feel like I am doing something with I feel like I am doing something right with the the way I am playing this stage. So I guess that's a start, I think. Oh great, now I fucked that up. Alright. That's my fault. Jump there. And I jump there, even though I was holding down. Physics, what's that? I've already had enough of forces. <laughs> I'll probably cut off with this though. As promised, I will, you know, I always leave off with some 06 just to feed the channel. Even though I'm going to be feeding it tomorrow. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that was a really good time. Oh shit, no. You're not meant to jump there, dude. Obviously. Hey, that wasn't too bad. That was too slow. That was good enough, apparently. Yeah, kill some time. Yeah, not this time, dude. <laughs> 
I think, yeah, that should be actually pretty good. Like, 102, maybe? Yeah, 102. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Just need to be a little bit faster. We're slowly getting there. You know, we've shaved off uh, a lot of time already. But I think in the next uh, attempt or two, we'll have it. But yeah, I think this is evident that I'm going to have a, a really hard time getting the time attack working with, um, with classic Sonic stages. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Bit of a mess up, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Too much. Please work, please work, please work. Thank you. Yes, I think this will be it, guys. Yo. Yo. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, yeah, just, oh dear, that was close. <laughs> I was thinking if I jump, I will have running speed, which is faster than rolling. Um, and if I didn't jump, that also might have been fast, so I was kind of on the fence. Oh, God, I only just got that. And thank God not with Supersonic, because imagine... If uh, Supersonic's time wouldn't allow you to get the, the objective completed. Wow. <laughs> well, that's that done. That took a while, actually. A lot longer than I thought it would. But I think, yeah, that is evident enough. Uh, that, you know, I will probably have some trouble getting the rest of these time attacks. Especially for Classic Sonic or Dimension Sonic, so... Uh, that's alright. Um, but yeah, I think for now, because I've pretty much played Super Sonic to death, it's just Modern Sonic and Super Sonic with Super with a bit of speed changes. You know, it's, it's good, it's DLC, I got the DLC, I can't remember if I paid money for it, but yeah, I downloaded it. <laughs> I downloaded it, Sega. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Um, anywho, yeah, I will put on some O6 now. So, give me a second, as I uh, switch over this OBS, give me my OBS, OBS, alright, cool. So yeah, I'll be back soon.
All right, so basically, before I actually do put on 06, I'm gonna quickly show the stream, because I actually didn't do a stream with this. I only showed a, a video of it. So I feel that it is necessary to quickly show this off before I uh, put on 06 or do anything, before I like, you know, change cables from the PS4. Just took care of uh, something else just then. But, uh, but now, quickly, uh, I'm not going to do a level, I'm just going to show you guys, show the stream, so it's, you know, at least archived on YouTube, um, my, uh, what's it called, my time trial, kind of, my stats on Stormy Ascent, which, I hate to say this, but I actually think I probably could update, because I was re-watching my times and I noticed that I got a really, really fast time, and could have done faster. Uh, but I stopped up right at like the, the very end because there was like a jump that I didn't make when I was meant to so I probably could go back and do it I'm probably not going to do that but I'm just saying that yeah I probably could have updated it to make it you know more of a faster time but anyway it doesn't matter I'll show you guys the, uh, the time real quick Alright, so yeah, the DLC as you can see is the purple levels. I gotta say, boom, <laughs> Stormy Ascent, Platinum, and there's three time trials. Like I said, I was gonna do three. Uh, when I did the first one, I thought, oh, I could just leave it like that. But then, I was like, nah, I'm gonna end this now, today, and sure enough. And yeah, I really do feel like it is necessary for me to stream this off because, um, yeah, it's been a while since I've streamed the Insane Trilogy, and while I'm not going to play a stage, at least it's on here, so you guys can see it uh, completed, finally. So, uh, yeah, just a little something I wanted to show before I, again, switch cables back to the uh, 360. Um, because, yeah, now that we're done with forces, done a, a good two hours of Supersonic. I'll uh, end the stream off now with some 06. So while that's alright, so yeah, just give me a second now as I quickly uh, change the cables. It won't be too long. All right, so we're here now, and we'll uh, load up some R6 before I uh, end this, the, uh, the stream off. So like I said, I didn't want to make this a really stupid long stream, and I do apologize for that, you know, because I usually like to spread out my streams, but I don't know, I'm just not really feeling it today, you know, so uh, it's not just that, it's multiple reasons, but uh, I don't know, we'll just, yeah, we'll see how we go for time, I guess. Um, but yeah, I might do it, so I might have it this year, so every month I do a YouTube stream of nothing but 06, because I noticed that last year's streams were good, but I wasn't getting as many views as I was when I was streaming 06, regardless of, uh, if, of if I were to end the stream off with 06. So uh, yeah, I think what I'll do is every month, when the month is over, uh, as mentioned, I'm going to do every month how I uh, have an animation uh, converter explanation video where I explain what all the unused animations and what all the animations are and what they look like when they are converted. But at the same time I'll also do a YouTube stream every month of me just playing Rift 6, uh, you know, modding shenanigans, you know, just uh, playing in general because I feel like I wasn't doing enough, uh, you know, last year. And while I did cover a good 41 hours <laughs> on the uh, anniversary, I still feel that that was still not enough, because, yeah, sure, it was on the stream where I covered everything 06 related, but, yeah, I could have done so much more, 
throughout the entire year, you know. So uh, hopefully this year, every month I do, you know, an O6 stream, people will like that and be encouraged to watch it more, you know. Um, whereas Sonic Forces, I just finished it actually. I did a good two hours of it. Of me streaming Super Sonic. Uh, you can always rewatch it when this stream's over, which is actually coming very close. I'm almost done now. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do a few little things and then uh, show a few mods off that, that we've been working on over the holidays. Uh, and then, yeah. Should be good. And I might do some modding now. I don't want to at the moment, but. Yeah, you can see that we've got Infinite working, finally. And he's looking really, really great, I've got to say. Um, I think, yeah, I already showed the channel this. Uh, maybe not this exact mod, but... Uh, yeah, we've gotten the rig so it's perfect. We've gotten the shader so it's perfect. Uh, and yeah, just in general, it looks really, really great. Or at least I reckon. I mean, come on. Look at that. It's Infinite, man. It's got the eye, it's got the shader, it's got the red shader, it's got everything, you know? And it looks fucking great too. You got the animation to kind of make him look like he is infinite in the six. And yeah, to me it looks really great. And while we probably could add a sound mod in, uh, yeah, we probably won't, because it's argued that Shadow kind of sounds a bit like infinite. And I kind of agree, you know, I'm not disagreeing. The only thing I have to nitpick is the fact that we're not changing the sound mod at all. Like, I understand using, you know, Jason Griffith uh, as Shadow, but using different quotes, but using the exact Shadow lines, I feel is just a bit, I won't say lazy, but I don't know. I feel like a little bit more work could have been done to the sound mod, even if it was just making him voiceless, to make him sound more edgier, the fact that he's too cool to say anything. Do anything, you can make him grunts or something when he jumps or something, you know? Uh, but, you know. This is actually being released as well, so, uh, you guys that have, like, Xenia are more than welcome to download this and showcase it if you guys want. The only credit is just uh, to the rigor, I guess, you know? So, uh. That's cool. Uh, I don't know if uh, anything else is going to come this mod, if any like changes to like, the sound mod or anything. Because as mentioned, it's just uh, a rig with uh, an animation swap and some shader changes. Actually, I scratched that. This is really good the shaders. Uh, yeah, aside from that, I don't think there's anything else that's going to change. I th oh, and the particle arc, because yeah, we had to remove shadows. Skating particles, which yeah, that's easy to do. It has been done already. Um, but yeah. So yeah, this is uh, one of the latest for six mods that has been released. And yeah, in my opinion, I reckon it's fucking awesome. I mean, really awesome. Like again, I've said this in the past. I haven't seen an O6 mod that looks so polished. You know, because I don't know what it is, but the rig looks really, really cool to me, you know? So, uh, even the shaders. So, uh, yo, what is up, LEGO Studios? Not today? Alright, so yeah, check this. See what I mean? Like, how cool does that look? Are you playing Garbage Sonic 06? Uh, kind of. I was playing Pulses, but I finished that just a few minutes ago, so... Don't worry. You can always, uh... You can always re-watch the stream if you guys want to see the, the rest of this. But, uh... Yeah, Infinite in 06. You guys are more than welcome to try this out if you guys want to. I'll have more mods out, hopefully this year, like, you know, all of the uh, Sonic Unleashed models uh, in 06, because that's something I've wanted to do for a while now, such as, uh, such as what, like the uh, Tails, Sonic, Eggman, Amy, because, yeah, Amy's in the game. 
Tails. I think that was actually the hardest mod to get, Tails. We still haven't rigged Tails yet. We have rigged Amy. We have rigged Sonic. Uh, Eggman, we'll have to get to at some point. But, uh, yeah, Tails and Eggman's the only models that we have, you know, we have to do next. But, yeah, we've done half of them already, so that's good. Now, I'll show them off if you guys want to see how Sonic and Amy's uh, unleashed rig. Also, what the hell? Oh, I bet oh, I bet the stage. <laughs> I don't know why, I completely forgot about that. I thought the game crashed just then. <laughs> yes, it is a bit rude, just saying. Well, it has glitchy controls, but... Can you complete the game? Yes, you can. So... It's not really glitchy, it's just unpolished. Or at least in my eyes, you know? Because if it had glitchy controls, then you wouldn't be able to complete the game, or it'd be broken to the point where, I don't know, like, let's see, the, the ball puzzle, that's, that's got glitchy control, sure, but it's still completable, it's not, like, broken beyond belief, you know? Uh, anywho, actually, I think I'll, yeah, I'll show off a cutscene, why not? I won't show a lot off, I'll just show the one off. But after this I'll show off the, uh, the Unleashed models. Don't you want to know what this is? My assignment was to rescue you, nothing more. Fine, with you it's always... Yeah, I, I reckon he looks really cool. It does look like infinite. That's the main core part of this mod. It seems they don't want. So we've done a lot of past infinite mods Let's get with uh, fan models, with fan uh, shaders, and it looks okay. But nothing can top this. You know, it just this really does look superior. You know, so uh, no, that's awesome. Um, but yeah. Anywho, I'll uh, I'll put on some project. Bad, because that's actually where I've got the uh, the models on both uh, Unleashed Sonic and Unleashed Amy, so uh, and for some reason that's not going to work. Alright, yeah, oh, duh, because I haven't got the Z default. Alright, never mind. Yeah, it does have a good story, and yeah, the, the, the multiple characters, I actually didn't mind. I know a lot of people were like, oh, there's too many characters, but I didn't mind it, you know? I really didn't. So right there, you can see that that's uh, Unleashed Sonic, and we've got Unleashed Amy, and I will admit, Unleashed Amy isn't perfect at the moment, but that is Unleashed Amy right there. But yeah, the shoes aren't perfect, so that's why it might not look perfect, or might not look exactly like Unleashed Amy. But one thing I have noticed is that the models tend to look a little dark. Uh, when you put them into 06, which is kind of interesting how how different the models are, you know, from different game, different Sonic game, you know, so, uh, no, it's interesting. I'll, uh, I'll put on, put on another the wall, just to, uh, I'll put on another the wall just to show off all the characters. Unleashed Amy, holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Amy is your favorite character, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty cool. I mean, I gotta admit, I, I thought that we would get to Amy last, but yeah, conveniently we actually got access to the models and uh, yeah, we managed to put them into Crew 6. And like I said, hopefully in the future we will get around this year to, uh, to Tails and Eggman eventually, but it is cool that we have done Sonic and Amy, so that's, yeah. We are making progress. <laughs> That's good. Alright. You can also see that my control for all the characters is not as glitchy anymore. It's like they, they run fast and it's just uh, it's more enjoyable to uh, play as them pretty much. Like look look how far he, he jumps. I mean maybe this is too fast or too game breaking. 
But to me, I actually don't mind this, you know? It's not too fast, it's not too slow. And I know a lot of people could argue, no, 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 it is too fast, but... I probably will update this though, I won't lie. But yeah, only time will tell. Uh, that's a good question. We still don't really know. Uh, it's probably just gonna be Eggman, but... Yeah, I'm not sure at the moment. We haven't really decided. We'll just get whatever we can get our hands on, you know? Whatever looks better. You can actually see that silver does look different. Uh, eventually, we'll probably get Generation Silver into um, Zero Six, but it would be great if we could keep the silverish effect because if you guys don't know why the reason we applied this, you know, chrome metallic-looking silver effect to silver, uh, it's basically because if you actually take a look at the Blur Studio model of silver. He actually also does have a chrome effect. Now, while this doesn't appear in the pre-rendered CGI cutscenes, it doesn't change the fact that that's how he does actually kind of look, you know? So, uh, it's hard to know if we'll actually make it so it looks like this in the gameplay, but I don't know. It's debatable, but we do have a plan for how to hopefully, you know, make Silver look. Because I'm not saying that it bothered me that he was white and not Silver Silver for his name, but still. But eventually we'll get all the Unleashed and then the Generations models. Because we don't want to leave O6 models and Unleashed models, you know, we want to have Unleashed and Generation models. And also, Moon Jump off of the pillar, how, how precise. I gotta admit, it, it's really rare to, to get a Moon Jump off of a pillar like that, or off of a wall that you're gonna land on. But, Huzzah, I just did it then. But, um... Yeah. So yeah, this is a Unleashed Amy. And I, I hate to say it, but I actually do prefer Unleashed Amy than her 6 Amy's model. I don't know, something about this model kind of looks better. I mean, there are some things that I do like about um, the 06 Amy, but still, this is more detailed in my eyes. I actually think I'm on for a cover this a while back. She also runs fast, obviously, so... Yeah, yeah, I can see why people would think that. I'm not sure if I agree, but I can definitely uh, see why people would think that. Because um, there are things I like and don't like about Silver, uh, the 06 version, but the 06 model. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, tough one. Glad you like it. Oh no, he's not showing forces off at this time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yes. Scared. He just looks really skinny. Same with Shadow. Yeah! I mean, I don't mind Shadow, his model in this game. In fact, I think I prefer this Shadow model than anything. I will admit, yeah, it does have problems. Uh, but 
Mm, I don't know. It's debatable. Yes, that was all right. Yeah, Silver, I definitely feel like he wasn't really the best. My biggest issue with 06 models is that they aren't smooth. They, you know, they just, they almost look paper mache, you know, there's, it's just a uh, straight lines to make a circle when unleashed in generation models actually look like circles, you know? But yeah, with this game, it just looks like straight lines trying to be circles and it just doesn't really look smooth. So yeah, if this game had some smoothness, I might actually prefer the models more than the Unleashed models, because yeah, I do prefer the Unleashed models overall. You know, so, uh, shit. Just you wait, Iblis Trigger. There should be a switch somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's something that I would actually like to do eventually, just to kind of, you know, see what it looks like, having all the, the models, you know, smooth. Uh, maybe not like all the objects, but definitely the character models. So that's the biggest complaint I have with the VR6 models. It's a nitpick, I know, but I think most people would agree with that. But yeah, to anyone who actually does have Xenia, I would love to send these kind of mods uh, away. If you guys want to try it out, just PM me and I'll be sure to send a copy. I think her double jump now is a lot. It's basically the same as Blazes, if not better. And I think a lot of people are going to like this version. Maybe. And of course, eventually I'd like to have it so she can do a, a triple jump, because I want Amy's uh, double jump to be weaker than Blazes, but have more height and jump capacity. So in other words, Blaze can move around a lot more, but she only gets a double jump. And she can also uh, hurt enemies in it. Uh, while Amy, on the other hand, as mentioned, uh, yeah, she can, she can double jump, she can triple jump, and she also goes a lot higher when she does this. You know, so, uh. That's cool. No, I don't think I actually can complete this stage as Amy. Actually, that's a thought. What if I try to do that? I can't remember if I have tried to double, you know, do this in like, past, but. That, that'd be interesting, trying to complete the, uh, what's it called? Yeah, complete Dusty Desert as Amy. Alright, there we go, so we're out around here now. I'm just trying to think out loud. My inside, no. Oh snap! <laughs> okay, cool. So we made it here. This is exactly where, where I want to be. So don't, I didn't want to trigger that invisible barrier. Because if you do, you basically are inside. Or well, Amy basically can't get inside here, if that makes sense, you know? So uh, that's cool. I probably should have saved that checkpoint in all honesty. But that's alright. I'll just do what I need to do. Uh, okay, so Amy can take the stroke. Yeah, they look like they're guarding that should be able to destroy it. Let's start by getting rid of them. But at the same time, I just want to beat the stage. I don't want to fight the enemies. So yeah, I'll probably take them now. Because these guys I'm a bit concerned about, because I don't think Amy would be able to take them down. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Okay, so that opens that up. I'm not going to get that checkpoint. It's the one I've already got one. Two things of the game in case I do for whatever reason die. And it would be interesting to see how the ball puzzle is going to play out. 
with Amy, because, you know, she's got attributes and so on. Um, so, yeah, I, yeah, I should try it out, but at the same time, if I do, I don't think it's going to work. And what I mean by that is that she won't be able to get it into the hole and complete the stage. So that's that done. Um, yeah, so now the tricky part will be to complete this more puzzle with silver. The problem as well is that I'm also risking the chances of me dying in this puzzle to the point where I uh, have to start all the way from the start pretty much of uh, the second silver. Oops, so much for that. Just destroyed everything. I think because of that, I'm actually going to destroy all these little cup things or whatever they're called. I really have no idea what this is called. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll, I'll destroy all these. Because uh, that I have noticed does take damage to the uh, ball puzzles counter, which is a bit sad. It's like not meant to do that at all. But be careful not to touch that checkpoint too. Well, um, if you look on eBay, I'm pretty sure that there is, like, a, a JTAG or 60 of some sort. Um, or even if you were to, like, look up, like, the nearest place to, uh, that mods 360s or something, I'm pretty sure there would be one around. I don't know, I guess it is where you, you know, where people live. No, no, no. Oh, you bastard! So close. Get so far. I will admit, with this, uh, with these attributes altered, it definitely does make the ball puzzle a little bit easier because you can like hit it and it goes flying almost. Definitely a lot better than uh, retail. Into the hole! Come on, go in. No. Uh, but I could send it to you if you want for whenever you might get uh, a Model 360 or Xenia to work. The only problem with this is that the, uh, the counter, I mean, yeah, I hit it a lot with this mod. It does go flying, but I have to hit it a lot. Like that. And it goes into the hole. <laughs> Shit. Here you have something to me. Ever? I can't remember if I did. Because this mod was pretty recent. I mean, yeah, sure, it was like a few months ago, but... I, I haven't actually sent anyone uh, these uh, Unleashed mods from memory. So maybe it was like a, another mod or something? I don't know. I just can't remember. No, no, no! Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay! Yeet! Oh! Yo! Yes! 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 No! No! What? No! It was right there! Come on, man! Oh. Yeah, maybe I can steer it with the without destroying it. Fuck. So close, yet so far. Did you see that? It was literally in the hole, but then I was like, no, no, I'm, I'm gonna go on the outside. Oh. I know I can clip to skip this, but like I said, I want to complete the stage to Amy just to see if I can do it. Oh, Xenia. Right, right. Also, what is up, Andreas and Jean? How are you all going today? Um, what? Yeah, oh no, I'm playing this. <laughs> um, what's your opinions of this game? I have very mixed opinions. I like and don't like things about this game. Uh, the plot is all over the place, so, uh, 
I don't know. I don't mind the plot, but yeah, if you compare it to other Sonic games, yeah, sure, it does not work for a Sonic game. To me, this is kind of this kind of works more as a storybook game, kind of like Secret Rings in the Black Knight. It's like a, you know, it's its own spin-off, you know, because it was trying to be a reboot, so it was trying to be a Sonic game, but it works more if it's just a storybook game, if you know what I mean. And the gameplay, well, I didn't mind it. It was, you know, it did have its problems from like the loading times to the uh, loading screens to its uh, um, the slow characters and the be, you know, Sonic's running slow. But oh no, I got the checkpoint. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, that's exactly what I didn't want to do. Uh, well, that's not good. Also, is it me, or is this spinning a lot more than it should? I'm serious. This is meant to stop spinning after a while. You guys know that, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll run away and see if, uh, if it stops after a while. But yeah, seriously, that's not meant to <laughs> be spinning that long. I don't know why, why I was doing that. I'll try making it fly. Fly, my ball! Fly! Oh, fuck. Well, I mean, it kind of flew. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. No. Come on, go in the hole, go in the hole, go in it. Just do it, it's right there, come on. Yes. Oh, we did it, thank God. Even with mods, it's fucking abysmal. Not abysmal, but you know what I mean, it's just tedious, it's long, it's nuisance. All right, so that's part two of this glitch fest that I've done. I gotta get all the way over here, not get that checkpoint, go through here. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna clip, otherwise I'm gonna trigger that invisible barrier. So, okay, this is the tricky part. There we go. Now I gotta switch to Amy. And I probably could make this jump. I really shouldn't be doing this. But it just shaves the entire level. And oh, what's no? Huh? Invisible barriers here! No, you gotta be joking! That was part of the reason why I didn't. Uh, why I clipped twice. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, that. Nah. Yeah, rip that. <laughs> uh, where does Silver's Teleport Dash go far? Um, because pre rendered cutscene at the start of Silver's story, that's why. <laughs> nah, I, I modded it like that because of the opening cutscene at Silver's story. Yeah, I think most people liked it. I don't know. Uh, what should you media? Can you send me the mod on? Uh, Discord. I'm usually more active on there. I don't know if you've got Discord. If you guys go to the description, I've got an invitation to my direct Discord server. If you guys want to join. Isn't there another ledge to the right? Um. What, over there? That's uh, where you go to switch back to this silver, and that's great and all, but I can clip out and then switch back to Amy, but that, that kind of soft locks the other game. Why did you do Sonic 06? Because that is my channel. I mean, yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen my videos, because all of them are practically 06. <laughs> I'm also fixing 06 if you guys didn't know, so that's part of the reason why I have to play this a lot to understand the physics of what needs fixing, what doesn't need fixing, and so on. Uh, but yeah, rip that, man. Fucking big rip. I really thought I'd be able to get to the end. Alright, I'll, I'll try again, but I'm just trying to think what in the world could have triggered the uh, this invisible barrier to trigger. Because it doesn't trigger as long as you don't go in here, and I haven't done that, so. I'm gonna guess it was either when I was playing a silver, uh, the second, the, the second time. So in other words, uh, when I was here, when I clipped out here, I think that might have been when I triggered it, maybe. So I'll try again, and I won't do Just any clips. Endless trigger. I do it too anyway. I'm sure you what I'm talking about. There should be a switch somewhere. So I can't clip through here, otherwise I switch to Amy, so I'm going to have to clip out here. I, won't, I usually clip to the left, but 
uh, if I do that, it's probably increasing the chances of uh, me uh, accidentally messing up that trigger again, so that's alright. I'll, uh, yeah, now I can figure out a way how to get back over there without clipping too obviously, you know, so uh, I'll try levitating up here. There you go. Alright, now clip through here if I can. Whoa! Okay, well that worked. And now clip through here, and then levitate into this room. Yeah, cool. So that should do the trick. Um, I have to this is good, we're doing some glitch hunting. Because <laughs> uh, I don't think anybody's actually tried to see if Amy can beat uh, Kill the Dusty Desert. Because I know a lot of people have tried to see if they can get uh, Knuckles to uh, complete Aquatic Base. They can easily do Flame Core because speedrunners even do it. But yeah, Aquatic Base is a little bit more difficult. Uh, but yeah, it can be done. I, I actually haven't done it, unless it's with mods, you know, so, but, yeah, doing it the normal way, I haven't actually done that yet, unfortunately, so I would like to get around to that at some point. Um, but yeah, I do believe you can be as Amy. Alright, so I'm Now again, I probably could try it the, to the point where I like use the hammer to see if I can uh, uh, move the ball, but I have actually tried this in the past with character swaps. I tried Amy in this stage, but the, the, the hammer literally does not move it. it. It counts the thing down as if it, you have hit it, but yeah, it won't actually push it anywhere, which is really, really is annoying. It's unfortunate too. Uh, I've tried so to slip what's in here, but the kind of jump isn't far high enough. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it wouldn't be. So I guess the only real way to do this would be with mods, like now. Huh. Still, I would like to, you know, keep trying just in case, because I do believe it is possible. Yeah, sure, maybe not jumping to where you're meant to go, but... If uh, Knuckles can complete Aquatic Phase, then I do believe, then, then uh, Amy can complete Dusty Desert. Oh, yo, G. Riley, yo, what is up, man? How are you going today? What a surprise. Yeah, sorry for the uh, inconvenience with the uh, server changes. I don't know if you've uh, seen the news, but... Yeah, we have actually had to uh, switch servers. Oh my god, is that? Yo, a texture glitch, wow! <laughs> look at that, look at that, look at that. See that? That's number seven, right? But there's a bit of green there. I just noticed that's part of the uh, the next number on, on the uh, sprite sheet. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, we have, uh, we've moved the, uh, the modding server to my main Jira server now, so uh, you are joined there from memory, so... Uh, Alright. Alright, so I'll, uh, I'll destroy these. Because again, they just they take down the counter, which really is annoying. Um, yeah. But don't worry, I will cover a character swap video where I cover Amy in this stage as well, because even if I can't complete it as Amy, at least I get to show why I can't complete it, you know, instead of just skip over it like most people would, you know, because I do remember Mopontro and I think me who did try to do something like what I'm doing now, doing like a character swap series, but they kind of skipped over the, uh, the, the characters that uh, couldn't complete stages. That, or they actually altered the, uh, the abilities so they could beat the stage, which is great and all, but it's not the original in my eyes, so uh, yeah, for that reason I just can't really seem to like it. Yay, we got it. That was cool. It wasn't too long too, so uh, that's cool. 
I just gotta make sure I don't get this in check. That's cool. Alright. Yeah, now we should be good to go. Alright, now this is where it's gonna get a little bit tricky because I'm pretty sure this is the part where I did uh, you know, trigger it. So uh, I gotta figure out a way how to flip out here and get back to safety. There we go, so see what I mean? Great if I can go to there actually. Yeah, but just to be safe, you know. Better safe than sorry. Now, I will open this switch, but I can't get the next switch, otherwise that will switch to a silver. Um, whoa! What the fuck? Yo! What? Ugh. Huh? What just happened? <laughs> um. Like, I kid you not, I did not move the controller at all to do that. And on top of that, the rumble started going going off. If you guys don't know, rumble does not exist in R6. Like, the, the controller rumble. But it started rumbling then. What the hell? Oh man. You got all that, all that work again. I really have no idea what just happened. Yeah, it did it again. That's so weird. Just you wait, Iblis Trigger. I mean, I kind of did know of a, a glitch that does this, but why does it do that? And in so random points of the game, too. But even weirder, the rumble that was never ever used in 06 is actually used for this glitch. That is so weird. I'm sorry, but. Uh, I had rumbling when I tried to get these to finish Crash of City. Same thing. Yeah. Well, that's kind of good though, because that just goes to show that Rumble does exist in Earth Six's code. And what that means is that I can actually use this code to my advantage to use the Rumble feature for other things that I might want to use it for. Because I do want to use it, you know? I, I want to use it for a lot of moments in Earth Six. Um, you know? So, uh,. Nah. Thank you. It's good. I wonder if that's what triggers it now would be. Oh, actually. Let's try. Yeah, because we're not even that, that far into this. Yeah, there is an invisible barrier. So, okay, I think, yeah, don't transform into that silver then, maybe. Because that kind of kind of kills it, doesn't it? Alright, well, uh... You wait, it's kind of tricky, but... fun at the same time. Shit. Alright. Alright, so now... Uh, I'm gonna be careful how I do this. Get up here, I'll make it from here. Oh, okay, I'm dead. No, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Fuck. Oh. Alright, never mind, I'm gonna have to go Just around, sadly. Alright. By the, by the way, uh, Jerry Riley, are you still here, man? Because uh, we actually just released a mod uh, that I'm not sure if you played Forces, but yeah, you might be interested in uh, showcasing if you want. I'll, uh, I'll show it off actually after this. Because yeah, we put a lot of time and effort into it, but uh, I think a lot of people are going to like it. Alright, cool. 
Uh, I, yeah, I'm gonna say from the anime, so I'm gonna... I'll let Amy take care of them, because at this point it's just yeah, too much time for me to follow with them. <laughs> Especially when it's not my main focus. Like, even with these, you have to destroy the enemies here. I'll just get these onto this already. Alright, so that's a good start, I think. Yeah. Cool, alright, so now... Let's go shoot that over there. Beautiful. Alright. Please don't run away. <laughs> a box clipped into it. Wow. Alright, yeah, that's good. That's really good, actually, so far. So far, so good. Yes. First try. Yeah, man. Boom. First try, dude. I think that's a, that's easily a, a highlight of the stream. <laughs> Getting the ball puzzle first try. So I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> Getting it first try, even if it is with mods. Alright, so now, let's go back in here, and then go back in here, and levitate. <gasps> no, 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 no! Oh shit, for a second, I thought I was gonna pull my gear. Hmm. <laughs> Close. Alright, so now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I was actually expecting at least to be given, you know, the opportunity to, to play as well, like, maybe in the way version. Because, let's be honest, in Sonic Adventure 1, she only goes through the more calm kind of stages. You know, not... So, you, you wouldn't expect to see Amy in a, in a, what's it called? In a Crisis City or Flame Core, you know? Alright, cool, so that's that done. And... We made it! See what I mean? Now I can walk into this! Oh, finally! Okay, now we can move on. I think I can complete it now. Alright, let's try these, uh, these units. This is the only kind of tedious thing about this, though. It, uh, she has to like spam it, and it's not like you, you know, there's a bit of a delay with that animation, sadly. Whoa, that dude went flying. Alright, come here. I'm surprised I'm not taking damage. These guys I'm a bit concerned about, because I can't hit them, but it's when they shoot both of their ball things like that. I can't hit him now, but if I do, he would fall over and I wouldn't be able to hit him at all because you need the homing attack or an attack that you can do in the air. So now is like my chance to, you know, attack him. So no, that's cool. Alright, so so far so good. I think we might be able to actually do this now. Let's just hope the uh, ball puzzle and the door doesn't reset or something, you know, because that would be kind of annoying. Alright, now I'm just going to take care of these dudes. And I didn't, didn't hit him. Oh, so much for that. Alright, got him. Surprised I'm not getting hit, actually. I was expecting to get hit a few times. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. See what I mean? Now I have to wait, because I can't, like, I can go in, but I can't hit him from memory. Oh, wait. Oh! Okay, memory's wrong. <laughs> Alright, well, fair enough. Am I gonna get hit? Come on. I think the only good thing about Amy's control and attacks... This is a glitch, by the way. Uh, if you uh, tap the, uh, the action button, occasionally it does double damage, and this is a glitch, because I think the... Uh, the attack somehow duplicates itself, uh, and uh, it's not like, yeah, again, this isn't coded or anything. It's just her angling, uh, I think, hits twice in the same animation, and that's what, you know, allows her to get double damage. 
you guys can probably hear what I'm talking about because you hear her damage sound uh, twice in the same animation, you know, so, uh, yeah. Now again, I probably could try the ball puzzle out with any, but from memory, from the character swaps, it's not worth it because it doesn't move the ball at all. It doesn't matter because we got to the end. Yeah! Uh, my issue with Amy is that the double jump had no momentum, it's too stiff. Yeah, yeah, that is very true. Uh, I needed fast room. Yeah, but from from the footage that you're seeing right now, would you say that it's better, better gameplay like this? Because I have made it so she has momentum and she can move around really fast. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that that's better and people would enjoy this a lot more. What was it again? It was fucking this one, 12. Um, yeah, I'm actually planning on doing that. Uh, I don't know how, but I would love to uh, implement that into 6 at some point. Yeah, only trouble is, again, I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Because she doesn't have animations from memory that uh, do this. Uh, yeah, so I've got, like, no idea how I'm going to possibly implement such a feature. I can use the same code as the spin kick, so that part's no, no problem. But yeah, it's the animation that I'm a little bit, you know, on the fence with. But that's all. See, like that. I just took that enemy down in one one hit, even though he's got two hits, you know, so uh, with that we can take down all of these guys. See, like then, I just, I, I hit him once and I did it, so um, yeah. I hate to say this, but I actually had fun <laughs> with this town mission, uh, because of how good the, the control is now. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this mod so far. I probably could make some adjustments, but as you just saw from the jump to the double jump, it's more enjoyable. It's kind of like blazes, you know? So yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's uh, just, just the mods really that help out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully I'll make this uh, public to all you guys so you guys can uh, try this out. Whatever, but... It was a bit difficult, but we, you know, we got there. <laughs> um, I'll actually put on Blaze real quick, because I just want to kind of show what I'm talking about. Because I, I have fixed up Blaze a bit. Now, I know she probably doesn't need fixing. Uh, a lot of people are going to argue, and that is true, but, I, you know, some very, very tiny, you know, things with the jump physics as well as her running speed, um, I feel that could have been different. I love. Wait, what? Iblis trigger. Open the hedgehog. Can it be true? I need to find some. Yeah, that that's something I also want to get in uh, R6 as well. But the only way I think I'm gonna do that is by using the most awkward animations. Because again, Amy doesn't have these animations, so it's kind of hard for me to do this. Uh, so the only way I could really think of doing this is using her actual hammer attack. So she would be running, but she would also be standing still in her animation. After this animation takes place, then she'd go into like her jump ball animation, and then she'd go flying up into the air, or something like that, as well as uh, doing her hammer attack animation, or something, I don't know. It, it would be like a, a merge of animations, you know, so, uh, yeah. So, I'll try and get through all of Blaze's stage, um, if I can, that is. Without, like, going the obstacles way. Oh. You can see that she, she's got a more powerful running attack now. Even though that kind of already was powerful, but yeah. Oh, 
See, that's the only problem I have with Blaze's Skarmory Attack. And that's something I can't fix at the moment. The fact that she kind of like messes up her running attack spam. People go, oh no, she's got a faster homing, homing attack, so uh, that's what makes her enjoyable. But it kind of wrecks the experience when that homing attack fails like this. Like that. And like that. Now, you could easily argue that this is a penalty, you know, to teach you not to spam too fast, because, you know, you don't, they don't want to give you complete access to destruction. Um, but at the same time, they've done it in SA2 and uh, kind of SA1. I'm not sure about heroes, but they have given a homing attack spam in the past to the point where you can spam it and it's got no penalty. And yeah, adding penalties just, I don't know, it just changes the way you have been playing games in the past. And I don't like that. Uh, they did this with one of my favorite racing games, actually, and it's uh, in, in its uh, sequel. And I really just did not like it, you know, so, uh, meh. I'd love Amy to have an army attack. Well, I am considering adding that as well, but I, it's a tough one. I want to, but... I'm not sure if I will. If anything, I might do it so she has like the same kind of homing attack as the blades. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to give her too many abilities because she's... Yeah, it's, it's hard to know. What the... F Where did that shoot me off? That just... Oh my god, into the water. To death. Oh, I like in Heroes. Well, okay, that's interesting. Uh, because, I, yeah, I haven't played Heroes, so I didn't know her. she had a homing attack with predecessors. Um... Okay, well maybe for that reason I'll, I'll give her a homing attack. I don't know. I want to, but yeah, maybe with that I will. Because the only kind of games I've played with Amy is uh, oh shit, uh, 06 uh, Rivals as cameos, so you can't play as her. Uh, what else? Some Olympic game versions where she has no Sonic abilities. Then again, that's the same for everybody else. Um, what else? Sonic CD. But she's again basically a cameo when she's like kidnapped and so on. Um, and what else? I think Sonic Adventure, yeah, Sonic Adventure One. But yeah, I actually didn't mind her in Adventure One. You know, I think most people can agree with that one. Um, yeah, she had some good good attacks. I'd say two Shadow and Heroes I haven't played, so I wouldn't know if she's in the game or playable in the games. Uh, Unleashed, she's a cameo again. Jen's a cameo. And Enforce is a cameo. So really, it's just SA1 and uh, Endo 6, really. So shit. Anywho, I think I'll uh, get ready to wrap this stream up. I'll uh, show off a few more characters. That was so so. I'll show off like Sonic, Tails, and maybe Knuckles, and uh, I'll end it off after that or something maybe. Uh, have you considered adding more characters like Prim and Jet? What to 06? Um, yeah, it's it's a tough one because I don't really want to change the plot too much. Uh, if I were to add those two, um, it would only be as really, really, like, small cameos, like Big the Cat got in Dusty Desert for the Sonic demo, uh, in Dusty Desert, yeah, so, uh, it wouldn't be anything to the point where you go, oh, they've got their own campaign, you know, so, uh, I mean, I'd love to, but yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't want to change too much, you know, like, I was already on the fence with them adding Big into Dusty Desert, so, uh, and I don't agree with that. It is cool. People get a laugh out of it and go, oh, cool. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. So far, there are no plans, but it could change in the future. Uh, one thing I'll say is that it's weird that it has a visibility in the game. It's almost as if I don't like to have. 
had an SPR on Yeah, actually, that is a good point, because, yeah, SPR does have that ability, doesn't he? I remember from Sonic Rivals 2. Um, yeah. That is a valid point. But it's it's hard to know, though, what she, uh, SPR would have done. Because he basically, he's a ninja, and the fact that he's not in pre-rendered cutscenes, or he's not mentioned like Super Sonic and Metal Sonic is, I don't think he was meant to be in the game, but I can definitely see where you're going with this invisibility uh, ability, you know, so uh, I never thought of that, interestingly, so yeah, good point. Um... There's only one thing I want to change with Amy Rose's uh, invisibility ability, and that's basically to make it uh, so she is visible, not to the enemies, but to uh, the player, because not that it really bothered me, but I think it's just a little too a nuisance, the fact that you can see Amy's shadow, but you can't see Amy at all. So if you guys know the, uh, the robots that actually do turn invisible, but you can kind of see them. That's basically what I want to do. I want to swap those two invisibility kind of uh, roles. And what I mean by that is to have it so Amy is visible, even though she is invisible to the enemies, while the enemies, on the other hand, are completely invisible, just like Amy. So that way you can hear them and you might be able to see particles from, from them, but you won't be able to see their moles at all. Whereas with Amy, you can see her, uh, so it doesn't confuse the player, and also it gives the uh, the game an excuse to show the uh, the shadow of Amy when she goes invisible. You know, so uh, it kind of kills two birds with one stone. I know a lot of people that might not agree with the whole making the enemies completely invisible, but I think it, you know the fact that you can hear them, you can see their particles, you can see them shooting at you, that gives it away too much, and it gives it away. Completely, the fact that you can see them slightly invisible, so making them completely invisible, I think that would, yeah, fix it a bit more. Well, funnily enough, this was voice actors. Voices that do. Gun agent? Oh, is that the voice actor of uh, SBR? Hang on, though, that can't be right. This is for kids, right? Oh, maybe I'm thinking of uh, the Generations as Fury voice, because I was going to say, he, uh, the voice actor for him was the same voice actor as Itachi from the Naruto series, who is voiced by Crispin Freeman. And uh, he's a really, really great voice actor. I'm a real fan of him. And uh, yeah, he voiced SBO in Generations and in uh, Forces. I think, yeah, that's where I got it. But uh, I never, yeah, never knew. Yeah, I never knew about the uh, all kids version. Interesting. Interesting. Darn, we're not gonna make it. Let's speed up. I thought, to be honest, yeah, the the, the gun. The, uh, the Duke of Soliana. I thought he was actually kind of like Lacey Chabert, like some outside talent, as they put it. Uh, We're not gonna make it. Let's speed up. But apparently not. And the gun agent, I, uh, I don't know. Actually, Dave Wills. I'm actually friends with that guy on Facebook. I just realized. I knew him more as, uh, yeah, the gun agent, but I didn't know for one that was the Duke or SBR, so <laughs> he's quite the Star Wars fan, isn't he? Let's tune that. Yeah, it's just such a, a great sound for a game. Though it's funny, a lot of people praise 06 for its soundtrack at the very least, if they're going to praise this game. But me, I'm the opposite. I do like the soundtrack for the game, but... I don't, yeah, I, I think Unleashed has better soundtrack, or I, I've played other games that I prefer the soundtrack for this, you know? Like, um, I think Unleashed or SA1 has better soundtrack than this. And that's just my opinion, but 
I only think that probably because I've heard Pro 6's soundtrack non stop, because I've played this game more times than I can fucking count, you know, so <laughs> you can kind of understand. But, um, that's probably why that is. But, meh. Nah. Oh, oh, oh shit, well that's a thing. Yep, skip the, the, the wall jumping sequence. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I think there are a place to try to get a spear is now Oh really? Oh okay. I was gonna say, I didn't recognize uh, Crispin Freeman in, uh, in Forces. But he definitely did do did uh did do uh gens from from memory. So uh if they did get a cast replacement then that's a bit unfortunate, but uh I guess that's what all things are. Uh but what else though? Uh Omega. Now he he didn't appear in gens unless you're talking about like as a trophy cameo or whatever. Um but yeah, I don't think he had had a, a voice in gens, but I do think he had a bit of a swap. Not that I was expecting the four kids version of Omega to appear, but still, I don't know. I also see that they went back to some uh, hero style of how they voiced him with the Hero 6 version. Uh, <laughs> yeah, true, true. Like Flamecore, for example. I can never really get into Flamecore's music, regardless if it's love or stage music or not. Dusty Desert just kind of bores me, because it just, it turns me off of the stage itself. Like, I get it, it's supposed to be all Dusty-like and desert music, Egyptian-ish. Um, but, yeah, it's just, I can't really get into it. Uh, Radical Train, yeah, it's got some okay music. Not my favorite by any means, but it does have some pretty good music for its atmosphere. I will give it that. It's Mark Speed is pretty cool too, but nothing that I would remember and go, that's the best. Tropical Jungle, man, I gotta admit though, Tropical Jungle, in my opinion, has some really, really great soundtrack. Um, yeah, I don't know why I really did prefer uh, Tropical Jungle's tracks, uh, for a few of them actually. Hotic Base, yeah, a bit forgettable. The The second section is definitely the best in my eyes. Though I do like the first section's piano solo at the start, but it doesn't last for very long. And I guess you could argue the choir is pretty cool at the end of the song, but that. Uh, Wave Ocean, yeah, see, a bit basic. I prefer Emerald Coast over Wave Ocean's music, but, you know. And the Egg Cerberus Egg Genesis soundtrack, yeah, I wasn't a fan of the melody either. I, I just, yeah. I guess it's supposed to be menacing because it's Eggman, but I just couldn't get into it. Silver, it actually had some pretty good music. I didn't mind Silver's boss music. Um, I, I can't say if I prefer the 06 or Gems version, because both are pretty cool, so I'm kind of mixed on both. Iblis, oh dear. I get it, they try to use an orchestral fill to make it sound all heavy and stuff, but oh dear, oh dear. What can I say? I don't think I want to say anything. It sounds classical music, and that's great, but not for a fucking monsterish, destructive being, you know? It doesn't work for me. <laughs> uh, Egg Wyvern? Yeah, I actually didn't mind Egg Wyvern's soundtrack. Um, it had some pretty cool, yeah, beats and all that. It was a good remix of the Ex-Cerberus and Genesis version, uh, and I kind of like that version more, because it's not like it's in your face like Egg Genesis's version. Uh, it has like a, a bit of a, a, a string solo at the start, and I I like that, you know. Because it's my favorite boss theme, but I prefer that easily over Genesis and Cerberus. Um, White Acropolis? Yeah, I've got mixed thoughts on this one. The first section was a bit uh, techno, and I, I do like that. In fact, I like it a lot, but um. I think I prefer that over the uh, second section, but the the reason why I keep coming back to the second version is because I get it, they're trying to make it so it sounds all Mission Impossible-like with the, uh, 
the, the style that they've used in terms of the instruments for the music. Uh, but then after that, it gets into this rock version, and I really love that. But at the same time, it doesn't work for something that's supposed to be infiltration music, you know? So uh, there's two parts to it, you know? I kind of, I don't mind the infiltration part, and I don't mind the uh, rock version. I love the rock version, actually, but it doesn't work for infiltration music, you know? So I've kind of got mixed thoughts in the second section of this music. King of Valley and Crisis City, like you said, it's legendary, so I don't really need to talk about that there favorite pieces of soundtrack in the entire game, and that's evident, especially since they were the first two pieces of soundtrack that were composed for this game. And I pretty much covered everything else, haven't I? Uh, what else, though? Mephilus Phase 1 and 2 actually has some pretty cool soundtrack. Uh, I think I do prefer Mephilus Phase 1's version over the Phase 2. I hate to say it, but yeah, that is a thing. <laughs> Um, both are really great though, but yeah, I think I just by a little bit prefer Phase 1's music. Silver on the other hand, uh, well, Tropical Jungle is a bit different because you don't hear that in a, in a Sonic's version. I didn't mind it. Um, I think I do prefer Sonic's versions, but there were things that I really, really liked about Tropical Jungle for Silver, you know, so that's cool. Um, what else? Iblis Phase 3. Hmm. I think I do prefer this over Iblis Phase 1, but there are some things I don't like about this one either. As well, you know, so I've got mixed thoughts on that one. It's good, but again, same kind of catchy melody. It's like it's like Egg Wyvern the, compared to Egg Genesis, you know? Last story. End of the World had the best soundtrack in the game, in my, in my opinion. I mean, I know a lot of people that might not, you know, like it, but to me, I actually really enjoyed all of the End of the World tracks. Uh, the, the very first section for Tales, I fucking love that one. And the Amy section music, I really love that one, because it really did have a sense of Amy was doing it to save Sonic because she, like, loves him or whatever. And, and it had that choir that really does stand out. So, uh, yeah, I really do admire that. And the, and the last section for Shadow, I thought that was pretty cool too, but I still prefer the first end Amy section uh, over Shadows, because Shadows is like the same, but it's like and from a more action-y version. I guess that's the same with Rouge's as well, but uh, Amy's kills all of them. But yeah, that's just me. Yeah, <laughs> that is a bit weird. They can in uh, you know, six. A bit strange, but I guess, like people have said in the past, they were trying to get some outside talent. <laughs> Add both copies of Rouge 6. Nice. Well, like both PS3 and 360? Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> Maybe our Omegas are great. Our omegas? Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna have to listen to that again because I can't really remember it. Because from memory, I think it was a good sounding version, but I had problems with it. Yeah, okay, so it's like Tails' version. Yeah, I, I, I feel like it's just more of a remix of Tails' version, but the only thing I don't like about it is it's more it's more drum-like, and not that there's a problem with that, but... Um, yeah. They all have pros and cons, I guess you could say, but I think overall the blue version, the Amy version, is my favorite out of all of them. Yeah, yeah, you're right, it is a medley, and that's what I fucking love about this. Like Crisis City and Kingdom Valley, being all medleys, End of the World is also like a medley as well, and it's part of the reason why I really, really love the uh, End of the World soundtrack. As for Solaris, I I know I'm going to piss off a lot of people by saying this, but I actually prefer Phase 1's Solaris theme than the action-y orchestral His World for Phase 2. I'm sorry, but I love His World. I really do. And I love orchestral music, in fact that's my favourite style of music for any kind of style of music, you know? But, even you know, even when it does compare both together, I don't know what it is about it, but 
I can't picture that as final boss music because I can maybe picture it the other way around. So phase two's music is phase one's music and phase one music is phase two's music because they start off all great because they're super forms and there's no way we're going to lose because we're super forms and but it have the high action music so that's why it plays his world orchestral but then when they beat it they think it's over but it's not over phase two comes around and then they could use phase one's music being all a bit dramatic sounding with the with the choir and stuff you know because i think that works more because it's like okay we've been fighting for a while now how come he's not you know beat and that gives more reason to use that version of the song uh, but I don't know, that's just my opinion, but both are really, really great soundtracks, but yeah, I do prefer Phase 1's music as a, as a final boss. But as two songs comparison, yeah, you bet, I prefer, uh, I prefer the, the His World version. But in this game, as boss music, I do prefer Phase 1's, but that's just me. It's kind of similar to, yeah, yeah, like that, uh, Perfect Chaos and, uh, and Perfect Gaia, you know, so, uh, yeah, uh, makes sense. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, you're right. It does indicate how the character feels, you know, because Rouge didn't sound too sad, but it, did, it had that similar kind of feel that Amy's did. And Amy's was like pure, like, sadness almost, you know? Uh, Shadows was a bit sad, but still, he felt the need to still complete the objective to uh, save the world or the Sonic, you know? I, I know that might not make sense or anything, but you kind of get that from the drums of his version. It sounds more action-y and not as sad. I mean, it does have a sad melody, but you know what I mean? It, it's got that feel of action as well as the sad feel. And Tails is... Yeah. I mean, he didn't really sound as sad as, as I thought. It, it, it did sound very lonely, though, you know? Because if you really play it back, there's no drums in it. It's just... It's an empty version of the song, and I guess that's kind of what Tails is feeling. He's feeling lonely after Tails, uh, after Sonic's death, you know? And I guess Knuckles was kind of the same thing, but he uh, it had, like, a flute in the background, which kind of made it keep it busy, you know? So, uh... He kind of had that, uh, that, I wouldn't say nature feel, but like, uh, it also had the drums in it as well. But that, the drums on it goes to Omega because again, he's like a robot and he can't really, he can't really feel, well, I guess he can, but, uh, you know what I mean? He's, he's got more drums because he's a robot, you know? It's not as, uh, orchestral or anything. It has more synthesized and drum kind of tracks in it. Uh, well, Rouge is on the other hand. I think I already covered that, didn't I? It sounded like Amy's, but not as sad. Silver's was a bit interesting. I I, I think Silver's is my least favorite out of End of the World's Medley because it was a it was a bit of a break from the song. It had like more drums in that than I think Omega's did. And there's one there's one instrument. I'll actually play it. Yeah, I'll switch the. Uh... Yeah, I'll switch that. <laughs> So I can hear as well. Okay, so yeah, if you guys listen to this version. See what I mean? Because if you compare that to this, it's got the drums, but Omega's doesn't sound as robotic as Silver's does, you know you know what I mean? And there's that instrument in the background. There's two actually, it's happening now. Is that. Oh, oh, oh. And this thing. That. The strings. I don't know what it is, but I don't really like them. It doesn't happen often, but if you guys can hear what I'm talking about, you know what I mean. It's, it's not it's not there all the time but it's just a bit meh and I can't say I'm a real fan of it but that's just me though 
Uh, I prefer the first phase for Slice as well. Very mix of his worlds and his grade. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that people do uh, agree with me and see what I'm, where I'm coming from, you know, because I'm glad I'm not alone, though. <laughs> because, yeah, I thought that I'd piss off a lot of people. And I probably have, you know, from just going, at, yeah, I do prefer phase one. But that's just kind of how I've, you know, grown up with the soundtrack, you know. But, man. But you see what I mean? It sounds so empty and lonely as if Tails is le lonely, you know? So, uh... And I think there is drums, but it's not... You know, it's not like that. It's just like... And that's it, you know? Like now. Bang. See? And that's it. It just plays just once. And it's probably gonna play again coming up now. Bang. See? It's it's lonely. It's got no drum feel, and that's good. It really does indicate how Tails is feeling. And again, this is kind of the same, but it's got more drums in it. And it's got that synthesized track to kind of indicate that it's a, a robot. And there's also another track in, in this version of Omega's theme. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it almost sounds like a TV when it's got nothing to play, when it's got that fuzzy black and white-ness on the screen. I'll play it again. It's right at the start too, it's coming up. Now, coming up now. That. It almost, it almost sounds like waves, like a, a wave of water almost, but I don't know, it always kind of bothered me. Not in a bad way, but it always, yeah, just kind of was like, uh, I wonder what that is. <laughs> And that, and that flew. I can't really see how that indicates knuckles, but you can kind of see where I'm coming from. How it's trying to get that orchestral feel in there. Because knuckles is a bit of a, an ancient kind of fellow, and it's got that orchestral ancient feel to the flute, almost. It does sound a bit synthesized, but I don't know. I think it does a good job to you know, sure knuckles off, you know. So, and I pretty much covered everything I have to say about Silver. Knuckles would be better for Rouge. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Silver's one. Uh, sounds more like not Yeah, yeah, sure, true that. But still, it's just my least favorite, that's all. But I, I can't see what you're saying, though. But see what I mean? Amy's kind of has that sad feel. Uh, it's, it's funny how the female characters seem to have this sad feel. And Shadow does have this sad feel, too, but like I said, it's more action-y. And while this is kind of more action-y as well, it's not as busy. And then if we move on to Amy, it's like, again, no drums, lonely, sad, especially with that choir. Yeah, lonely, sad, empty. It sounds really fucking great, I reckon. And then when the drums come in, with that clapping. Yeah, it's really shows the determination she has to get into the action to save him, you know? And that's, yeah, really, really great composition. And see what I mean? It's still got that kind of sad feel in the background for Shadow, but it's more action-y, it's got the bass and drums. It almost makes me feel like that this was originally meant to be used for Blaze. Because <laughs> she's got more abilities than both Rouge and Amy. You know, so... And I actually do plan to recreate this uh, medley of uh, End of the Wall uh, sometime, hopefully this year, so I'll hopefully get on that soon. But, uh, yeah. 
Alright, sir. Uh, what? The only thing that ruins Amy's in the world is her running animation. Still out of place. <laughs> yeah. Very true. I thought you were going to say something about the, the, the music, and I was going to say, What are you talking about? Nothing's wrong with the music. <laughs> Um, but yeah, her running animation does look a bit sissy. It's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna walk like that now, am I? Because <laughs> it does, it, it looks like she's walking when she's running. It's kind of creepy. But, uh, yeah, it's just a bit out of place. Anywho, I'll, uh, I'll do Kingdom Valley. And then after that, I'll think I'll, uh, cut the stream. I know a lot of people are probably going to be joining going, Oh, fuck you, you're not playing forces, you're supposed to be for playing forces, this is a clickbait, uh, this guy, this guy. It's hilarious how, how many people get triggered by just the fucking wrong name. Like, you can easily see from the thumbnail too that it's not forces, so to click on it, just like, piss people off in the screen. <laughs> oh well, some people never learn. Doesn't matter. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, I have actually changed Kingdom Valley, uh, the textures. So it looks a little bit more Earth-like, you know, it actually does look more... I wouldn't say realistic, but it definitely looks more... I don't know, I will say realistic. It looks more realistic than uh, Retail did, see what I mean? Like, I've, changed, I've swapped the, uh, the rock and the mountain textures to look a little bit more... I don't know, ancient-looking, more rock and Earth-looking, to make it look more... I don't know. It looks better though, that's for sure, I reckon. I don't know what you guys think. I think it looks good. I was trying to capture that TGS feel to it, while at the same time also trying to give it that E3 feel to it, you know, something that, uh, well, only has ever worked since you know, E3. Let's try going up. Right there. Shit. Oh, shit. Is this forces or R6? I like it when I explain something, but then literally after I explain it, someone comes in and then asks the same thing. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. I'll explain it again, then. My forces stream has already ended. I streamed in pulses for a good few hours, uh, and now I'm ending the stream off with some 06 mods, so uh, I apologize if it's not what people were after. So hopefully people don't get triggered and like, oh, this is Foxy, it's not OCX, I'm going to just like... Because I can't get too many people like that. It encourages me to end the stream faster. <laughs> no. I'll get through this Showcase Infinity one more time just to get that, you know, forces feel in 06 and then I'll probably cut the stream. I'll also confirm to you guys that I want to actually uh, stream uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed sometime. Uh, hopefully, before I uh, get around to my uh, SA2 playthrough, because that is something I also want to do my SA2 playthrough. I don't think I'll upload it to my YouTube channel, I'll probably just stream SA2 for the first time of my playing of it. Um, but yeah, on the other hand, Force Unleashed, I'm not sure if I should stream on, on YouTube or make a playthrough of that. I'm already halfway into the game, so I don't think I should, but I definitely will be tackling that before I say 2 I reckon. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Also, Shortcut. I can't tell you how many people want to do that, but can't do it because Sonic fucking sucks at jumping.
Anywho, I hope that uh, you guys did enjoy this uh, stream. You know, I've been some time already since I've lost the uh, stream on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a good way to, you know, get back into it for this year's uh, streams. I'll, like I said, I'll try to get more involved with YouTube streaming or shit. Because, um, yeah, just, uh, I think people seem to uh, enjoy my YouTube streams more than my Twitch. For multiple reasons, but, uh, yeah. I think I do expect more YouTube streams. But, uh, if you guys haven't already joined my Discord server, I do, uh, insist. If you guys want to keep up to date with all those six things related, or all streams related, if I'm streaming on YouTube or Twitch or whatever. I do tend to stream more on Twitch than I do on YouTube at the moment, but I'll definitely stream uh, more on YouTube than I did last year, that's for sure. Uh, can you put some variants on that bit where you fall on the side when you're going too fast? Barriers? Uh, I can understand barriers being here, but I don't really know what they're talking about in terms of the part of the third section. one more time and then I'll cut off the that. I'll probably uh, do Dusty Desert or something like that. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see how we go. Just made it. Can't join the Discord. What do you mean? Oh, uh, does the invite not work? Um, what what does the uh, invite say? Do I may I ask? Does it like say the invite expired or something? Because I'll uh, I'll update the uh, the link right now if, uh, if that's the case. Hang on, let me just double check something real quick. Uh, cause yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put a new link in. Cool, looks like we got some new members from this stream. Uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? No, but it, it does seem to, it, lo it does look like it, it works, the link for, uh, It does look like it works for most people. Looks like it works for, for most members. Oh, okay. Um, well, I don't know if uh, if you like blocked certain users because I think that's part of the reason. Because if you have a user blocked, I think then uh, you can't join servers that they're in. I think so. Um. Cause yeah, you're not you're not banned on my on my server. I like rarely ever ban people. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, that's right. Yeah, is it possible to somehow make like a another account on Discord or something? Maybe. Uh, cause maybe then that'll let you in or something. It's easier. Alright, cool. Cooling. 
Jeez. Okay, so well, uh, I think I'll uh, disable uh, this for the end of the stream. So, uh, actually, there's no point really because I'm pretty much done anyway. I'll just get through this, and then I'll move on. It's funny how people go, oh, if you want to torture, torture yourself, go, go ahead and buy it six, but then some people do it and they're like, yeah, and that wasn't, that wasn't painful, that wasn't annoying. <laughs> Talk about a backfire much. This might be like one of the best through six months that we might have done. So yeah, if uh, the ultimate account doesn't work, maybe uh, try, uh, what's it called? So I don't know if you've blocked me or whatever for whatever reason, or you've blocked an administrator for my server. Yes. But if you have, maybe just try unblocking and see if that makes a difference. I don't know if that is the case, but I'm just trying to give ideas at this point. Anyhow, I'll end off here, because, yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting tired, but I'm just, uh, yeah, got nothing else to really stream. In terms of both molds or uh, forces, I could keep going with forces, but um, I do have other projects I need to focus on. So, uh, yeah, I'll hopefully stream uh, again though this uh, on, on YouTube this month because I think one or two streams a month seems pretty good. But um, yeah, anyway, hope you all enjoyed, and uh, till next time, I'm out. Peace.